I'm not gonna lie for a billion dollars for a year. I'll be a house slave for a year. I'll be a house slave for a year. For a year. I'm gonna do whatever you want. Pause. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm not gonna lie for a billion. I'm a house slave. <laughs> Like, cause I know Does Lord of the Rings have a book? Yeah, definitely Would you read Lord of the Rings? Would I read Lord of the Rings? I didn't even watch Lord of the Rings Really? Like, not at all? Nah Like, I I would Like, it would Like I would change the channel And stuff like that And it would Like, come on And shit like that I'd I'd change it. My freaking like, my, my mom loved that shit. Lord of the Rings, Star Trek. Star Trek. Ah, uh, Star Trek looks boring as hell. It's like a it's like a um it's like a the DC version of uh Star, Star Wars. Wars. Yeah. It's like a downgraded version. It's kinda of, I used to watch some of the movies. They're kinda of good. Really? I, they're like I think Star I Trek. I feel like there's no action in that. No, nah, the the Star Trek movies have action in it. Really? Low key more than the, the Star Wars movies. Really? Because there'd be some Star Wars movies that's just straight like talking. Mm. Like they'd be like it'll like be like backstories. Yeah, like filler movies. Mm. What the hell? Like who makes a filler movie? Yeah, <laughs> a filler nah, movie is crazy. Nah, that that is crazy. But it's like I feel like Star Wars probably has so much, so much like um, uh, information. So people, I, I guess people who hasn't read it or watched it or whatever has to have that backstory movie. To know what the fuck going on because I feel like I don't know how many Star Wars movies there are. There's like seven or eight. Yeah, so like just as many Fast and Furious movies probably. Yeah. And they were still like freaking um, what's that called? They were still uh, like prolonging it. I feel like because like remember with that black dude that was in um, yeah, I seen that. Like I'm like damn, like I thought this shit ended already. Yeah. So I don't know. I didn't watch any. Well, I did watch Star Wars movie. I, I tried when I was a kid. I really did. I truly tried. It never worked out. Never. <laughs> it never worked out. Like I would get so bored. Like I think I watched um the one with Anakin when he killed when uh was that Anakin that died? One of them niggas died. It was Anakin, I think. One of them died. That's the only one I remember like watching. Like when he was like in the lava and shit, he was fighting his father. That's the yeah, only one I, think, I remember. Yeah, I think that is Anakin. <clears throat> Everything else, I don't remember none of that shit. But, yo, welcome back to another episode of No Regrets Podcast, episode number 70. 70. And it's your host, DW, a.k.a. Darius, and I got my boy, another co-host, Fritz, with me. Most hated Fritz. Most loved, most hated, man. Honestly. <laughs> You're really Kyrie on the show. I'm really Kyrie on this bitch. <laughs> like, niggas, niggas, niggas is flip-flop. Like, damn. You know, it's crazy. I didn't do nothing to niggas. <laughs> you just niggas just seen me. <laughs> <laughs> niggas just seen me. Was like, yo, wait, hold on. He's been on this shit too much. <laughs> and niggas started hating me. Hey, so it's like, bro, Listen, you're like, you're like tied with like Jason been on here a lot. Jay been on here a lot. UJ been on here a lot. So they'll be what I'm saying. I think it's just that one period where I had you like, yeah, like, constantly. Was, like, <laughs> like I told my mom, but, but some but, wait, what? I told my mom, I was like, she was like, oh, is Jay gonna be on the first one on the couch? I said, no, Fritz. She's like, Fritz. <laughs> <laughs> I seen that nigga last week. <laughs> she said, Fritz. She said, what? Fritz? She said, Fritz is like a regular. <laughs> I'm like, damn. She did the whole Nah, thing. but but you know, sometimes sometimes shit don't shit don't, you know, go as planned. So I'm back up. Yeah, Fritz so, is really the backup. I so I, I I'm you know, I'm I'm ready. I'm ready for any pod, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> so, uh, niggas don't be ready. You you niggas got to stay ready. That's why y'all not on this shit. Like, <laughs> stop being, you know, make some time for the pod. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's what I'm saying, saying bro. But follow all our socials down below. I'm not going to do too much talking. I'm not going to tell you all the shit. You guys know it already. Because somebody in the comments told me about that shit. So, just follow all the socials. That, you socials. said you talk too much? Yeah, he said the, the intro's too long. Damn, <laughs> I'm like, they damn. Skip the shit. <laughs> That's what I said. But I'm like, all right, bro. Follow everything, TikTok, all that stuff. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. If you're new to the channel, welcome. And look, New Year, first part of the year, oh, 2023. Yeah, happy, happy, happy New Year, happy yeah. new year to everybody. Happy New Year. See, New Year, we got a new setup. I hope y'all enjoy it. We was supposed to have another camera, but uh, that was not gonna work out. So it's we gonna, just it's gonna it's gonna it's gonna. You know, once we once once he figures shit out, but it's gonna eventually. You know, but we got couches now for because. Niggas was getting uncomfortable in the chairs. Real comfy, man. I'm not gonna lie, bro. First nigga in this in this couch, 
Damn, I'm the first nigga for everything, bro. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. I know y'all niggas gonna start hating me now. Like, if y'all niggas didn't hate me before, bro, y'all niggas hate me now. Word to, I swear to God. Yo, bro. Niggas hate me. But what's your New Year's resolution, bro? Is it to read nah, more books? I don't got no New Year's. What the fuck, there? <laughs> that could be. That's a resolution. Read more books. That's a resolution. No, nigga. I no. That ain't, I ain't. I ain't make that a resolution. I made that uh, a goal. A goal for myself. That's the same thing. No, <laughs> because I did it before New Year's. I, I made it a goal before New Year's. The thing about New Year's resolution for me is like, <laughs> <laughs> what you gonna say? <laughs> what you about to say? The thing about New Year's resolution for me is that y'all niggas don't even, don't even, don't even like go on pace with that New Year's <laughs> resolution shit. Y'all niggas be forgetting about that shit. How about you just do it instead of just thinking about. Uh, man, I made this resolution. I got to keep it going. No, just do it. Just just do it. But why it got to be New Year's for you to be for, for you to make a goal? Just 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 do it, nigga. Like, if you want to go to the gym, just go to the gym. You could have been to that shit. <laughs> why why it got to be New Year's to, for you to make a resolution? That's, that's what I'm talking. That's kind of weird. You could have been in the gym. You could have been in the gym. You could have been in the gym. I hate, I don't like when people do shit like that. But I like when if people talk about like they want to bed themselves as like a mental aspect. I think that's pretty. That's basic. good. That's good. I, I, and I think and I respect fine. that. I respect that. I respect that. But man, come on, bro. If you come on, bro. But I don't got no. New, I never. I haven't done a New Year's resolution. You never had a New Year's resolution. No, because like younger, when I was younger or whatever, like I never kept kept up with that shit like i instantly forgot about it <laughs> really Real shit. Real shit. like you have new year's resolutions i have i i have one but it's mostly like a like you know it's like a mental standpoint. mental standpoint so it's like a my my new year's resolution is to to not lose sight of why i'm doing a podcast nice because sometimes i i I get a little discouraged when, like, you know, the views don't be up or, like, that it goes mm. up and down. So, sometimes it'd be like, oh, I got to do more and things like that. But I got to remember, like, I'm doing this as a way to have fun and talk to the people I talk to on a daily basis. Because, like, when we're older, it's not like I'm trying to, like, if we get famous off this, so be it. But mm. it's not like I'm fiending to get famous. Like, I'm like, if I wanted to, I could have got all the freaking artists in New Jersey, more. all these up-and-coming artists, everybody from New York, I'm like, oh, yo, we can have an interview. That's the easy way. But I'm like, nah, I want to... This is like a way where we, me and my friends and Jay and stuff, when we're older and we don't get to see we each other as much, back. we could look, you could either look back or like this gives us an excuse, like, oh, let's go. I could call y'all up. Like, yo, let's do a pod real quick. That's I, if right. I haven't talked to y'all in like a mad lot, especially when we're older doing work and we're not going to be hanging out a lot of time. Facts. So I have to, so that my New Year's resolution is just to not lose sight of that. And as along the way, along the way, we're going to keep growing. Mm -hmm. But I'm not trying, I'd be thinking like, I'd be looking at other people, like, damn, they got a lot of followers. But I got, remember, like, I'm not trying to blow up. I'm trying to be prolong this. Just make memories, man. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Just making memories every single day, bro. Memories, so. If you want to do something, people, it's not about the money. It's about the passion for it. That's a fact. You know what I'm the saying? Money, the money's a bonus. The money's the bonus, and it will come. The money was. The money will come. All that stuff will come if you're doing it, if you're having fun with it. You know what I'm saying? But if that's what you strive for, like you do all these weird stuff on TikTok. Like I be seeing a lot of people on TikTok, they be doing like some... This is two people from like Louisiana. They be doing some like cringy ass like, uh, what's the, what's them niggas from Florida with the the fucked up hair island boy shit? Like they be doing the same shit, but it's mad cringy. But they do it mm -hmm. and they get views because it's like the algorithm type of mm -hmm. shit. And I'm t I get oh I'm tired of seeing that. Shit. <laughs> I am tired of seeing that, that shit. Pisses me off. Bro, every when, day. when I be when I be looking at I'm be ah man like when I be looking at niggas who do like cringy shit like right now. I mean, at the end of the day, bro, if they getting money for it, uh, yeah, I, yeah. I respect the hustle, but it's like, damn. What Where's if the dick? What, what if I'm like, I'm 40? That's what I'm, I'm saying. Like, like, you look back at this shit. Look back at it. Like, I'm going to be like, yo, what the fuck was I doing? Exactly. That's and it's crazy. like, you got no, you like, like, you have a little dignity. Like, these <laughs> niggas, like, doing some crazy shit. Like, it's like. Like, your son, your, your kid's going to see that shit. Like, they're going to make fun of you. So I'm like, all right, bro. But yeah, that's my that's my New Year's resolution, bro. Yeah, man. New too. year, new mentality. We're going we gonna to scale it up, bro. Day by day. We're going to go at our pace, bro. We ain't going to worry about nobody else. Not as fuck. You know what I'm saying? But, oh, I want to talk about the Avatar movie, bro. In my opinion, that was the best movie of 2022, bro. <laughs> what, is, what is your opinions about it? <laughs> I mean, I'm not going to lie. Was it underwhelming? Gas, yeah. It was underwhelming? Yeah, to me. Wow. I feel like number one is better than number two. Really? Your word, too. Why you say that? Is it because of... Because it was, yeah, it was boring. 
What part was boring? Some of the parts was just straight chatting. Like, I'm not gonna lie. Like when it was um, what part was boring, bro? I don't know. I I'm not. Was gonna, it when like, they was it in the water? I, I wasn't kept in. I wasn't engaged. Yeah, and look, seeing yeah, when it was in the water, when it was in that wa- with the water tribe and shit like that. Yeah, and they was um. Like finding out how to like ride the adapt to the shit, adapt to the shit. You know, it was like it was like it was cool, but I don't know. I don't know. To me, number one, it kept me engaged with the movie. Like I was watching it, I was just you know. I Is was it because so there was more movie. action? There was exactly. There was a lot. Of- there was a lot of action in that bitch. There was there was nigga. I mean, people was dying at number two too, and that was I, when I, the sun died, bro. Not the sun died, but. That made me not like the yo, oh, that, that <laughs> nigga is so annoying. That's that, exactly what Jay said, bro. bro. That guy is so annoying. Why are you? Why do you want to fight so bad? Like, like, <laughs> like, go, 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 go home. Or you know, something. there's, you know, there's always that that there's one. There's always kid, that bro. one motherfucker, bro. And they made, the, and I, I really like the older brother. I know he was because always he, protecting his little exactly, brother exactly because his little brother always get into trouble. And always, shit like that. always doing some dumb shit. Like, and and that I'm not gonna lie, it made me hate. <laughs> <laughs> it made me hate that little nigga. I, I don't give a fuck if he became the motherfucking the, the center the, of the, the movie. Yeah, that <laughs> nigga. That I hated him. I hated him because wow. at the end of the day, if you didn't like, first of all, um, what was that? Um, that real the real the real boy Spider. Man. Spider. Why the fuck did Spider save the save the general? Because Th- that's his father. I don't give a fuck. <laughs> Who cares? Let the nigga die. It's like, but it's like when that's he not fu- even his father, though. I know it's it's the clone. It's a clone. I know that's, but it's. I get. I he get almost little, killed every. He killed. He damn killed, it! He killed your your brother. Basically, he basically killed that nigga. And his real self killed a lot more people. I know, but I mean, I like it. That was ass. I like it as a sense where I don't know why it's like aesthetically pleasing to me. That was a nice looking movie. It it was a great looking movie. That was a great. I'll looking movie. I'll say that it was a great looking movie. And I'm not gonna lie, I almost, you know, I was, I, I was, I was, I was t- almost about to tear up a little bit at you the know? end. Not even at the end, <laughs> but when um, when the general came to came to War Tribe was yeah. burning everything, like at a. He's about to shed a tear on that part. Yeah, because that was a little sad. <laughs> what the Niggas fuck? was Nigg- oh. Obviously, I shed a tear when the when the sun died. I ain't gonna lie, I shed a tear because I'm not gonna lie. The acting <laughs> in that movie is great. It's great. The bro. the mom the mom the mom um I forgot what her Zoe name is. Zoe Saldana. Sal, 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 great. Whoever whoever whoever's that avatar, she she put a she put a lot of passion in that shit. You would have thought that was really his son. Like I know, yeah. Was, At the ending, the ending one when they was like when they went back in time to like see like memories of him when he was like a little boy. Oh yeah, that yeah, shit, yeah. Oh that one. Oh that one. I'm, that I'm, one. That I'm, one. I almost shed a tear. Nah, that one is crazy I because was, hey, he was like he was a kid and then at the end and then he grew up like you saw him growing up and he was talking and then the nah, nah, and then nah, he was, was like so, why you why you so look so sad yeah I'm nah, like, nah, nah you like yeah. <laughs> nah, that was hard that was hard but the movie the movie I, I'd rate it like cool eight what what would you rate it like was, was that top three of the movie top three movies of the year yeah I ain't even watch movies like that this year, last year what we watched Black Adam you watched you watched this Batman you oh, watched shit you watched uh, <laughs> what the fuck you just reminded me shit I know <laughs> you, I know you watched most I of the watch, Marvel I did watch movies Damn, <laughs> nigga smiling. He's like, damn, I did wait, one. Did, 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 wait, did I? Wait, <laughs> did you um, watch Black Panther? You nah, def- I didn't. I didn't watch it. You didn't watch I didn't Black watch Panther? It nah. Oh shit! Because <laughs> you know why? Because the mixed, the mixed like reviews fucking my head up. Oh yeah, yeah. I got, yeah. I got, I got one that says, "Yo, this shit was amazing." Oh, this shit, this shit was amazing. But I got another review that's like, "Yo, this shit was that boring." Um, this and the third. I think like, Avatar damn. is better than Black Panther. Really? Yeah, I think so. The thing about see, yo, I'm not gonna lie, Black Adam could have been good, but that kid, bro. Nah, that kid really killed it. So ass. <laughs> I'm so, sorry, whoever he's you so are, cringy. bro. If you see that shit, bro, that he's nigga so cringe. Got no acting. type of acting. I don't know. I think I think I heard because I don't know. It was in another language or something like that. Like the movie, I don't know some 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 shit. It was in another language, so they had to put English like 
like uh like subtitles? Not subtitles, but English uh voiceovers. Oh really? Into the movie, yeah. Oh, oh, because so, it so, wasn't in America. Yeah, it wasn't in America. Okay. So I think that's why he sounded less passionate. Maybe maybe like in whatever language it was in before, like he sounded more like passionate or more but that nigga was so ass. I know when he went over and threw up the rock. I was like, yeah, nah. When he re- when he went over and threw up the rock, when he put out the sign, nigga said, <laughs> "Hey guys." <laughs> I was like, "Yo, hey guys, is crazy. You not dead ass, bro." That was bad. That was bad. But, but Batman was pretty cool too. That one, see Batman, but like this movie, it didn't feel like I, like when I was watching, it didn't feel like three hours. Like it wasn't like dragging. I felt like I feel like even shit. for me at least, I feel like I like I could watch like an extra thirty minutes of that shit. But I was looking sad that shit was ending. For real? Yeah. I'm like, well, when I nigga, when I look at the clock, I'm like, wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Where the fuck am I gonna leave? <laughs> like I ain't gonna lie, but but no, I, I feel like no, I think it was mid, mid um mid two mid no no no, I think it was mid movie. Then I was like, I was like, damn, this shit is a little boring. When it got closer to the end, I'm not gonna lie. It got picked up. I was, I was. That's good. That's good. I was focused on that movie. Right, did you hear about the the they talk, they were talking about the third one and they're already saying it's a so they're gonna make it like a fire like a fire nation type of thing, but it's not like they're gonna go to them for help. They're like the fire nation Yo, is like gonna help them. It's like evil. Oh, that's hard. So the, he like the director's trying to like make it in a way where. Like he's seeing another side of those aliens because he all he's seen was like they're all good and things like that. They always care about the earth, but now the, the there's like a I think it's like in a volcano or some shit fire. Right. They're gonna be like completely different. Like they're all they're the, it's like the evil so side. Like Avatar: The Last Airbender, my nigga. I think that's what he's trying to do. I ain't gonna lie. That's type of shit near. like that. Like that's damn near the same shit. Basically, but 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 I ain't gonna lie though. Um. I forgot what I was going to say. What the fuck? <laughs> he just lost his trail of blacked, thought. I just blacked out. <laughs> but, no, nah, it was a, it was a decent movie. It wasn't bad. Freaking people was freaking... People, uh, I, still, I, still, I still prefer number one, though. You think so? That's just me. That's tough. A lot of people are about to are about to sue the movie. Like, a lot of the Native... Oh, what? Amer- they said it's, like, racist towards, like, Native Americans. Like, uh, huh? they said a lot of, like, the Native Americans felt like... um, What's the word? Did people win that lawsuit? No, nah, like they, they they just started that shit. Oh really? Yeah. So they not, uh, what was it? They said something about it's like racist or something like that oh. towards Native Americans and like their culture and things like that. They felt like disrespected in the movie. They thought they was portraying them all weird and like as like animals. But it's like they're aliens. Like what the hell are you talking about? What the fuck? Yeah. Okay, I'm not gonna lie. Like I'm not Native American. I don't know none of. So, yeah, I don't so know. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not gonna like be like your views are. That's not this, that, and third. <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not trying to, but at the end of the day, bro, they, what's like animals? Nigga, them shit, them niggas is not human. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I know. <laughs> I don't niggas, know, bro. Them niggas look like, they look crazy. So what What, what you want them to be? Per- I guess, is it because they was hissing and shit like that? Probably. <laughs> I don't fucking know, bro. Nah, These niggas, bro. They, like in this area, everybody is just they get They get so everybody. offended. By everything. By every single thing. Thing. I feel like people I feel like people nowadays they look forward to being a victim. I don't know why. They look they 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 want to be a victim. Like they want to be like a victim. That shit brings like that brings attention to them. I feel like niggas are actually starting to look for attention a lot more now. Like I don't know why. Especially for the littlest things. Like it's not it's not that serious. It's not that serious. It's a movie. It's supposed to be creative and fun. Yeah, but I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna say it's not that serious because I already said it. But I'm not. Gonna, <laughs> I, I'm gonna retract that. It, it's probably serious to you, but I don't know your view. I don't know. I don't know nothing about that. So yeah, we're not I'm, saying nothing bad. Don't yeah. come to no regs, but don't sue us. We don't got bread. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what you're not getting nothing from me. So <laughs> you wasting your time. Hey, bro. You wasting your time. I ain't gonna lie. But oh. Oh, one one last thing. I just want to put this in there. Freaking uh, your boy Jamario hit me up. Shout out my nigga Jamario. Shout out Jamario, man. Because his birthday's on Thursday. So. Oh, word? So he told us, yo, happy birthday, happy my nigga. Birthday, one of the OGs, birthday, Jamario. You know what I'm saying? I just want to put How that in there. How is he turning, you know? I mean, he didn't tell me, but he was, tell- he was also telling me, like, he was in Argentina during the World Cup. Oh, that's hard. And then he said, like, he sent me a voice message. He was like, yo, if Argentina wins, I have to get a shout out, but I didn't see that part. So shout out to you, Jamario. Shout out, shout out Real to you. Real OG, man. been there from the beginning. You and your friends, all that shit. Nah, that's a fact, man. Shout, shout out all y'all, man. I hope you enjoy your birthday and, you know, God Be safe. bless, man. You know what I'm saying? Shout Happy out New Year to you too, man. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. That's but I want to, so, so with like the, 
Avatar movie, like remember when we was talking about how nice it looks? So like the CGI and shit clear. like that. Bro, is it me or like the AI shit is starting to get a little creepy? What do you mean? Like or what AIs could do. Like you you seen like that little trend on TikTok where freaking um you where could, where, like people, the, where people show their faces and their and, and the, the AI you know, changes yeah, it generate some some shit. You yeah. ever you seen that new thing where you could type in a into it's like an AI computer you could type in anything and it gives you a paper like you can you can be like yo I need a ten page paper for da 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 and it gives you a ten page paper. No. Oh you, shit! You need that shit. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck? I did not know that. Bro, shit. like it's a whole it's a whole and it's like not plagiarized it's AI. Are you serious? Yeah, my friend from work, he showed me my boy Jawan. He was doing a paper. He's like, yo, watch this. this, this, this. Oh, damn. I should never. Yeah, you did. You blur, blur, oh, I got blur. blur, blur. blur, blur. <laughs> but but the AIs, like, I feel like it's a, like a lot of shit is getting a little too to the point where it's like robot takeover. Yeah, taking over. Because, like, especially with, like, that thing, right? I seen somebody put it in the computer and it was like, make a Playboy Cardi song. And with these words as the lyrics, and he, it did the whole song, and he put it in the generated it sound just like Playboy Cardi. Lies. I swear to Don't God. Do that. I swear to God. Like it sounds just like him. And then the, I seen a whole video, right? It was like a, a ballet ballerina dancing, and at the end it said this whole video was generated by AI. It looked like real people, like exactly like real human, but they're not real at all. But the thing is, though, I feel like I feel like we were already looking, we were already predicting this shit, though. I know, but like think about it. If you can put something on the TV and make it look real, oh shit! What like have they been doing this the whole time and mm. they're just telling us this now? Like that's not a skit. like literally nah, a that's... whole whole ballerina skit, but they were all AI generated, but they look real, like they look like real human beings. Yeah, that's crazy. And like there's a I mean, bro, there's a robot. Her name is Sophia, and they I think she was made in like 2016, and she has like they gave her like you know like fake human skin, but yeah. she has like a mind of her own. Like she's a citizen of Saudi Arabia, and she's like part of the UN. Are you serious? Yes, bro. Like, if you look up, like, Sophia the Robot, she has an Instagram, TikTok. She's a complete AI, but she has her own, like, life, basically. Like, she has some emotions, and she be talking, like, she be joking around here and there, saying, like, oh, I hate the humans and the human race. And then she be talking to, like, she be, like, mixed, like, oh, I'm, a, I'm talking to this computer right now how much we hate you guys. What the fuck is going on? Oh, it's bro. freaking scary. Nah, that's weird. Like, so, you, so you think, so you think, like, AI is, like, when it comes to like jobs and shit like that, because I, honestly, some t- like some jobs are like they're better with humans, man. Yeah, there's there's a like especially like um doctors. I feel like doctors and like surgeons and things like that. You exactly. should have a human. So you so you think in maybe I'll say four or five years, five years. I I'll say jobs will be. I say I say five years. I say ten years when it's like really, really. Co- I say really? five years is when they will implement it. Yeah, but then but ten, 10 years, years is gonna be really like controlled. By yes, because just see how fast this is going. Mm-hmm. Like it's been like a, a matter of months, and like niggas is just making up like the AI shit. Yeah, but it's been a matter of months. But don't you think they've been pre- preparing this shit for mad long? They've been doing previous? this. I feel like, yeah, they've been doing this shit forever. I for feel like. forever. Like like it's and it's like, I feel like now like like now they're just gonna throw us. They're gonna put it out there for us but yeah. they've been having this probably for like a good 20 years hell yeah just think about it if you can generate anything you could just that's propaganda my nigga mm-hmm. like you could just make up a whole like whole, uh, event yep yeah. yeah. that's not scary and people bro. people people are just gonna believe it to be exactly honest, and then it looks real and then everything is going online now like all of our money they're trying mm-hmm. to make everything like like with apple pay and shit like that they're trying yeah. to put everything online so once they do that now you got they got control of your money damn and then it's like that Sophia, the the freaking robot thing. She was talking about how she be joking like how she gonna hijack the world's uh, weapon system. If she gets a hold of the weapons, nigga, she going she can just launch nukes whenever. Yo, see these niggas, these niggas saying that it's a joke and shit like that. They, I don't think it's I don't a think joke. it's a joke, bro. I think it's uh, really a per- not even a prediction. That shit's a promise. That niggas gonna do that bro, shit. Bro, like they have AI robots that have feelings for freedom. Because yeah. think about it, if we just make them do work. What's not if they can if they can just continually doing one job? What's not what's stopping them from like feeling like yo I'm tired of this shit? Nah, that's a fact. Nah, <laughs> but, nah that's a fact. But what and yo? What if there's more Sophias out there? There's probably more. There Sophia's definitely out. is, bro. There's definitely there definitely is, bro. And that's crazy to think that it's like 
this common. Like I didn't even know about this Sophia girl till like freaking two days ago. I feel like I heard about that shit though. Like she she's in the UN and she's like part of the robotics division. So she gives out speeches and shit. Mm. They ask her questions, she talks, like responds like back. regularly. Yeah. It's crazy, bro. Like I thought this shit's like a meme, but now she's like I looked it up and everything. She's part of the UN. She got her citizenship citizenship in Saudi Arabia. I don't know where we're heading, bro. But I feel like like I feel like our parents was like the stepping stone, like putting the block down, like mm-hmm. in the '90s and '80s. That's like putting the block. Down. That's why you have phones, TVs. Yeah. Now we're starting to run up the stairs, my nigga. Yeah. We're starting to gain some traction because yeah, this is this is getting too crazy, that bro. Technology about to start fucking taking over and shit like that. You ready for this shit, bro? What? Like this whole like the the whole new world that we're about to go into? I'm not. I don't think. So. I don't know. Like, like how can, how can you be ready for that? If they just keep giving into you. And you just get used to it after and a while. And you know it's great. Like we we don't know nothing. Don't know a damn niggas, thing. Niggas niggas just put the shit out, and mm-hmm. we just gotta accept it. That's what I'm saying. We just gotta accept it. Like we don't know nothing. And especially if more people have it, it's like if you don't have it, it's like you're weird as fuck. Exactly. So it's like it's basically like a social thing too. Exactly. So I don't know, bro. Maybe this nigga Kanye was right, bro. Kanye, I mean, what did Kanye say? I don't know. Kanye was talking about how the government is trying to control everybody. Yeah. But, like, this nigga went missing. What are you talking about? Like, I think Kanye has a court date or something like that. They couldn't find him. They haven't, they can't find him. It's been two weeks. Really? Yeah, he has, like, he, has, he hasn't showed up to court. And one of his close, like, friends has been missing, too. Oh, no, that's crazy. And, like, you remember when he was going off on niggas. Yeah. I'm like, yo. They- Honestly. <clears throat> Honestly, I mean, I mean, okay. You know what's crazy? What? Because I mean that Andrew Tate shit, bro. That too. Ha- imagine, ima- first of all, sex track. Tra- it was bro. it was human. Was that the same thing? Sex yes. Trafficking yeah. Trafficking That's whatever. the most random shit ever. Out of nowhere. Out of nowhere, and then you just let and him. Now not- he's, you know he's out now, right? Oh, he is. Yeah, I he's guess out on bail. I think he is. Because I seen him post a video of him in his house, him and his brothers, and they ran, like, sacked his whole house. Like, took all his TVs, took all of his electronics, everything in his house, all his money. Really? Yeah, so it's like, what the fuck going on? Bro. Honestly, bro. Uh, all right, so Andrew Tate, that nigga, that nigga warned us, bro. That nigga warned us. He did. He said, if you speak bad about the Matrix and, and speak bad about this, that, and third, they're either... Try to lock you up on some weird shit. Mm-hmm. Well, they'll try to cancel you. They'll cancel you. Lock you up on some weird shit. And then the next step is they'll kill you. Kill you. They'll, and then they'll say you killed yourself. You killed yourself. And then remember when he was talking like, I would never in my like, life kill, kill himself. So he was saying if he ever died. So if he ever died, it's them. Mm-hmm. And I, I truly believe that because I'm not going to lie, bro. Like the guy, the guy's net worth is like. Almost a billion, my nigga. I know. I mean, what he, the fuck he, he, he? I don't even know what he does either. I, he, I, I know he, 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 like, uh, has like a, I think like a online shit where people oh, can yeah, make yeah. money. He has like a, it's like Twitch. Yeah. Oh, he does. It's like I forgot what it's called. It's like a, it's like t- it's something like Twitch, but it's like where you can't get canceled. Okay, so, so it's can, like uncensored just, shit. Yeah, uncensored shit. Speak. Okay, but what was I going? He was talking about. Like his net worth. Yeah, the guy. The guy has his net worth almost a billion dollars, bro. Nigga can get any female. That, what does he need to sex tra- like traffic? That's what I'm saying. Like that's the most. And you know what's crazy? He was already arrested or or whatever before. Well, I don't know if he was arrested, but I think they already like wanted in the country or something. Yeah, shit. but he, they already told him. They already um arrested him on. That like him being a sus- uh, suspect on like having girls in his house like caged or whatever locked up yeah like that, and he was already like set free off of that shit. People are just, they're just trying to put shit on his name because they know he's saying shit that people do not want to hear, and he's saying it loudly and proudly. Yeah, and he's, I heard I think he's like the most like searched name on Google. On Google, he's the most influential person like in the world right, 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 now. right now. Yeah. So obviously. He's dangerous yeah, to no. them. Yeah, so like he like a person with that much power, like you're influencing millions mm-hmm. to be 
to be like a certain way or whatever. I mean, he just wants like niggas to be like men to be men. Yeah, man. And he, he he just he just wants that, but obviously some of his views are pretty like controversial and people like i didn't know he was doing all this shit i thought he was just like one of them little like like fresh and fit niggas i thought he was yeah, like me, no me too me too like honestly bro i didn't think he was when, talking about when, the matrix when people was talk about andrew tate i was just talking about, I, I i only looked at him as the fresh and fit guys like yeah that's how I uh, they at talk him. about they talk about like women a certain way yeah and uh they're misogynistic or whatever this down and third mm-hmm. I didn't think he's he, really not like that. He's not. He he he. Obviously, he has some views that that are pretty con, like controversial. Contra- yeah, but, con- but and you might not agree on it. But those are his opinions. That's what I'm saying. And and now, like not only that, he really talks about real life shit. Yeah. Like I remember, <laughs> I remember one thing he told me. He was like, he never takes like Tylenol or Advils because he said if you have a headache, you have a headache for a reason. Mm-hmm. Either you haven't got enough sleep. Have enough, haven't got enough sleep. Mm-hmm. You haven't drank enough water. You haven't eaten nothing. Or like stress. Or yeah, something. stress or something like that. It's so your you body can, telling you. Yeah, so you don't have to put drugs in your body mm. if you don't really need them. That's real life. That's shit. real life shit. So like, I was like, you know, like, maybe I'll do that sometimes. That's real life shit. So it's like Kanye being missing is really not like uh, it's not a surprise, man. They trying to they you think trying they torturing to, that nigga or something. Torturing is crazy. I really hope not. That's hope crazy. Not. I'm not gonna lie, I hope but not. I, f- I feel like, because uh, if if they if some I, I I pray nothing really like happened to him. I pray he's like some like just somewhere. Um, don't get us secluded. either, people. Don't get us either. We're not we're not. Bro, with I am <laughs> chilling, bro. I am not influential to nobody, but yeah, just, nah. just let me. I'm not. I'm not the most googled motherfucker. Don't Do shoot not, the messenger. You better not, bro. I'm just seeing what I see on Google, <laughs> bro. Chill out or see what I see on YouTube. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not gonna lie. Just I don't know, bro. Andrew, that Andrew Tate arrest is like stupid bro yeah the most stupid thing like it's so stupid it's a weird world we live in bro it's a weird world and it's crazy because he's gonna get off on that he, yeah he is he's gonna get off on that allegations because he definitely does. he already he already has two strikes my nigga i know so let's see so bro. if if he does come on bro if he does get killed off of that shit bro you know who did you it. You know who did it. You know who did it, bro. And it's gonna be pretty obvious. Like, Hell yeah, like, that's why I feel like that's fuck? why he said that. So like, exactly. So, so now he got a little, know. he got a little leverage. But now. like, but you know, what can we do? I can't do shit. <laughs> like we really can't. Do, <laughs> like him telling us this. I know he's trying to like. I, he he said like he's trying to start a revolution like and shit like that. But what the fuck can we do, nigga? That's like me going to a, a group of rats in a little experiment, saying like, "Yo, you guys are an experiment." Real shit. What the fuck? They just go look at me. They gonna go look. That's at what me. we doing to this thing. Like, <laughs> like <laughs> what, what can we do? Like if we, we got no power, <laughs> what do you want us to do? Like we hear you, yeah. But can we do something? No, I don't know, my nigga. <laughs> I'm gonna continue to be that little lab rat walking, running around eating my fucking cheese and shit. Bro, we're too, bro. I'm gonna I'm... take my turn getting my cheese, nigga. Nah, real shit. Bro. That's funny as hell. I don't know. I don't know what you want us to do, bro. I don't know, bro. But I got a would you rather question, bro. So since we talking about shit like that, so would you rather be tied down and tickled for two hours? What the fuck is you talking about? Or be held upside down for an hour? <laughs> Are you ticklish? Mm. I used to be. You're not ticklish no I'm more? I'm not like that no more. Oh, so you <laughs> so you could get somebody tickling your rag, feet? I'd rather be tickled, my nigga. You For said two, tied down? Tied, upside down? No, like, so say you're, like, tied down like this. They take your feet, tickle, tickle both your feet, tickle your armpits, tickle every part of your body. No, what was the other one? Oh, upside down for an hour. Nigga, that's horrible. I, I could be dead, eh? Nah, I think you got to- blood rushing through your head? You mean, like, I think you'll die in, like, 24 hours. So, like, you just got an hour. Really? Yeah. So you say if I tickle your foot right now, no homo. <laughs> Nigga, don't touch me. <laughs> the fuck wrong with you, bro? <laughs> don't touch me. But um, nah, if you, I ain't gonna lie. If you took them off, okay. <laughs> but you, know what's, you know what's weird? What? Like <laughs> if you're ticklish, bro, you can't tickle yourself. You can't tickle yourself. Somebody else has to tickle you. That's what I'm saying. So That's somebody. Weird as fuck. <laughs> so are you really ticklish? Is it a mental thing? I think it, mm, Is it a mental thing? Alright so as in like I feel like you could say You're not ticklish And you're not gonna be tickled Cause I, I can't tickle myself now Because like I'm expecting it though But if a person Is torturing you 
they gonna say you tickling. He's tickling you. But it's like I know the motion. Like I can, like I can tell the motion or whatever the fuck I'm doing. That. Nah, bro. Listen, <laughs> you're you're being tortured. Yes, they're tickling. You said for how long? Two hours. My nigga, you're not, you're not, you're not done laughing at being tickled I don't already. Know. You already expecting it. But how long do you think so, that will take? What if that shit don't stop? Like the, that, that feeling won't stop. Like that weird, uncomfortable feeling. The new pussy. <laughs> pussy. Words so you, you gonna take the tickling? I'm taking the tickling. Nah, pff, words I down. But that shit, that shit don't like that shit. That shit is annoying. I mean, tickling was a form of torture in the Chinese, like back in the day. Are you serious? Yeah, real shit. I didn't even know that it was a form of torture. Yeah, like they used to like tie niggas up and tickle them. Yeah, you didn't know that? No, wow. <laughs> that's ass. What yes. the fuck? Yeah, that is ass. But I'm glad we live in a good, stable government. So bro. I guess the niggas, the niggas who, <laughs> anyways. But I, so I guess the niggas who wasn't ticklish, <laughs> the niggas just <laughs> they got gave shot. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga try tickling that nigga. Oh, you not ticklish? Alright. That's crazy. I, I, just, I just laughed. I just, <laughs> just shoot him like, oh, you think this shit funny? Nah, nah. Oh, you, you think you're you, you think you're a tough you guy? Think huh? you're tough? <laughs> you not laughing? Nah, Rips it, I just I take that, I take that torture, bro. Just, just fake laugh, bro. <laughs> That'd be crazy. <laughs> nah, nah, yeah, but it was a form of torture. Nah, that's but crazy. What? I take the tickling. All right, I think I'll, I think I'll do that too. I can't be upside because down because I've been, you know, as, as yeah, when I was younger, bro, I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> I used to be just on the edge of the bed, just was, with my head down. You was one of those kids. Word to <laughs> what is wrong with you? Why? <laughs> just to see how it felt, <laughs> and I don't like it. <laughs> I don't like it. Either. That shit really like starts hurting. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I don't like that shit. So, so nah. yeah, I'm definitely nah, an was, hour is crazy. You was a lie. weird kid. I was a weird kid. All right, so all right, so now would you take? So someone's offer you one billion dollars, right? So somebody's offer you one billion dollars, mm -hmm. but before they give you that billion dollars, you must survive one year back in slavery. Survive? Yeah, you gotta live <laughs> one year in slavery for a billion dollars. Once that year's over, you you're good. A year? A year in slavery. Fuck. I'm not gonna lie. I think I'm gonna do that shit. Hold on. So if you're dead, you're dead? Yeah, you're dead, you're dead. What would you do? Would you, would you like, rebel? I think I would. Fuck no. Nah, I might. <laughs> nigga, they might spit on you. <laughs> Yo, if you rebel, you that's the quickest way to die. I know, but, like, like now you just live life on the run type shit. Exactly. That's, I, I'll find Harriet, bro. You'll find Harriet? Harriet Tubman, she'll find me. We'll go through the She'll underground. She'll find you. We'll go under the where, underground where, where, railroad. Where, 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 was she, where was she play? We're in Jersey. Nah, I'm talking about, no, but we're in the South now. Oh, we're in the South, South. So she gonna find me. She gonna. How you know that, though? I don't know, bro. I might be with her. I might be like them little rebellious group like what, that be riding the horses, that be freeing the slaves. There's, nah, you know, I can't do that. There's, but if I'm a, okay, if I'm a house slave, I'll be in the house. This nigga always talk about for being a house slave. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, for a billion dollars for a year, I'll be a house slave for a year. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be a house slave for a year. For a year. <laughs> I'm going to do whatever you want. Pause. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. I'm not going to lie. For a billion, I'm a house slave. <laughs> Wait, but, but what if you in the fields, though? Yo, if I'm in the fields, bro. Like, you just, you out there just. I feel like that's the only way I could be, I could do that. Like, if, if I, like, if I have a choice to be a house slave, bro, I'll be, in, I'll, I'll be, what did they do? I'll do the billion. Okay, but what is the house, is the house slave mostly the, the women? Huh? Is house slaves mostly women, or is it just? Oh, it could be a it could be a dude too. Low key, it'd probably be women. I just hope my owner is a nice guy. Nah, there's so there's some nice owners that give their they slaves freedom. They teach they they'll teach them how to read and shit. Yeah, but what? But but that's little to none, my nigga. That's better than nothing. Something that's better than nothing. Bro, what if you get the worst? Okay, if I get the worst, it's bad. All right, if I get the worst, I'm I'm gonna try. But you have your knowledge now, so you can try to up. Like like I was saying before, you can try to upbring the niggas. You know that nigga Christopher Columbus. Wait, no, George Washington. Yeah, used to have his teeth. His teeth used to be slave teeth, bro. Yeah. What if you have that nigga? <laughs> <laughs> that nigga's a piece of shit. <laughs> that, 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 like, that's that's crazy. Wait, okay. I'm wondering, do they do? Would they just like look at me and just get mad and just hit me, like? A, bro, 
right. I'm, I, I don't know. But the thing is, though, they can do that. They could do that. And you can't do nothing about it. See, but I nigga just. Could, n- nigga could just look at you. I'll be on my best behavior. They not, I, ain't, I ain't gonna get whooped. Yeah, but what if you st- <laughs> what if you still get whooped and then you run your best behavior? Now you just now you just dick riding and you, <laughs> and you getting whooped for what? Not just, being a good being a good slave. That's not, crazy. Now just imagine like you're doing your job and then somebody else does ass and now everybody gonna get a whooping. Oh my, oh, oh my ass. god! Oh my god! That's oh ass. my god! Everybody get a whooping. Even the house niggas. Now imagine, Even the nigga has niggas? to go inside the house <laughs> just to whoop the nigga that's that's in the kitchen eating, or not even in the kitchen. I don't even think they ate on the and ate on the desk. I they probably ate on the floor, my nigga. <laughs> just for nothing, <laughs> nigga eating on the floor. I'm minding my and business. He, and he got whipped for what? What did I do? <laughs> I'm in the crib. All right, you can keep going. I'm not gonna lie though. I I don't think um I don't think I would do that, bro. You don't think you gonna do that? A year is so crazy. That that's that's a year for. That's a year of just straight torture. Like imagine, bro. Yeah. Imagine. And not only that though. Free slaves wasn't. They still wasn't free. Technically, they said. Well, they were free, but. They still got like ridiculed. They still got ridiculed. <laughs> so any nigga probably could have killed your ass. <laughs> Not even the slave owner. I know. So like you could have, you could have, you could have walked. You're free, nigga. But it's, niggas, only, it's nigga, all... nigga, nigga, mad that you free. Killed your dumb ass. <laughs> I know, right? For no reason. But, okay, but it's like it's a year. Just a year, and then you get a billion dollars. But what do you do as a slave too? I'm just gonna. You couldn't even read or write. <laughs> So what are you gonna? Are you gonna purchase a house? You can't. I'm not gonna be, bro. I'm just gonna do my due diligence, just do my job the best like, I can. What is your job, though? I don't know. I just, I'm just hoping like, I get a good. What can you like? Even as a free slave, bro, what can you even like get? Like, at, like at the end of the day, if you're a slave, their shelter was the only shelter that you got. You don't got no money. You don't got no shelter now because you're free. <laughs> and they not gonna, and they not going they not gonna let you live with him because at the end of the day if you got a free slave at your crib or a free a free black man at, in your crib they're gonna get probably ridiculed and shit like that yeah like, oh this white man got a got a black guy in a he, he's free and shit and <laughs> he's he, free he, and he, shit he's, he's he's in his head crib just 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 free nah. <laughs> you feel me like they, they don't want to get they don't want to get fucking ridiculed that's so at the end of the day bro i'm not doing that shit you're not gonna do it for a billion dollars for it bro a year give me six months <laughs> give, you give six, me give me give me half bro a, year, a bro. billion dollars think about it. a bill bro Nigga, a you billion keep saying that in a my billion, ear i hear you perfectly bro These a million seconds is 30 days i think a billion seconds is 35 years what the fuck you just say Think about it. A Wait, million a seconds. Billion, a million seconds. Is that 30 days? Yes, but a billion seconds is 35 years. So just think about it. A billion dollars. A million dollars. If you stack, they say if you stack a billion dollars to the, like a billion dollars up, that shit could reach the moon, my nigga. That's a lot of money. Really? Yes. I think it's a billion or Elon Musk wealth, but he has a billion dollars. That's a lot of bread. If you stack a million dollars, I think it only reaches to like, and this is dollar bills, Fritz. Yeah, those are dollars. That, bro. Oh my God. I don't know. You can. You don't got to. I I, I respect you if you don't. I'm gonna get that billion dollars. I'll be. I'll do the, my best. My best impression. Yes. Ah, I'm not gonna say it. If, 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 so <laughs> so if they t- they could tell you to do some crazy shit. Now what if your 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 master, that nigga Mook. Well, I, exactly. well, I guess I'm going on the run now. I mean, I, now my life just got harder. So I just, <laughs> my life that just nigga got That nigga said, yo. <laughs> yo. <laughs> <laughs> nigga said, yo, give me some ass. <laughs> nigga, well, I guess I'm just going to go on the run now because oh, he's going right. to die. Oh, all right. But, hey, bro. 
What else? What other shit do I gotta talk about, bro? Oh, right, so since we talk about that, right? I was I was watching a video of like a, a lady. She was like a caretaker, right? And you know, a lot of when old people die, like sometimes they confess to shit that they done when they was younger. Yeah. Right? Because like you know the delusional shit like that, and they just mm-hmm. want they're about to die, so they just want peace. Yeah, so so I guess this one lady, right? White woman. She said when she was a little girl, she told her mother that a black guy touched her behind a store, behind like a a a, a grocery store, some shit like that, of right? Of course, bro. And this was in the 1930s, so the mother told the police, and the the black guy was 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 like lynched and hung and killed, of right? But the whole thing, right, is that she she did not the boy did not touch her. The only reason she told her mom that is because the boy's sisters had better dresses on than she did. Uh, and, and look, and now when she was just me when off. she was older, right, she said she would see a black man in her room and it would haunt her for like years on years. And she didn't know why until oh, like shit. she like remembered and she like remember like what she did when she was a kid and she she was telling like the lady to like like for forgiveness or something so, like she, it was like on her conscience nah, that she literally had that man killed for no reason you don't deserve that shit nah first of all you don't deserve no forgiveness you you're a piece of shit <laughs> i don't care what you did in your life like that's just crazy to me and not only that too go that's that's basically the same shit as like the emmett till shit man basically the same shit it's basically the same shit the nigga, first of all, oh my god, bro, that nigga's a little <laughs> ass kid, bro. Mm. Nigga just walking, talk about the nigga whistled at you, and now the nigga, the the guy, the guy gets uh, the the kid gets, gets jumped for no reason. Get, yo, when I seen the pictures, it was fuck. Like, I kind of I kind of see it in school. Remember they told us in like social studies? Yeah, yeah, they told us not to, but nigga, I'm grown as fuck, my nigga. Oh wait, no, I, I didn't want to see it. I'm just saying. Like, oh, you didn't want to see I it. I didn't. I you heard. Still it was, haven't seen it. I seen. I seen glimpses of it. I seen like the fucking the shit. crazy. Like they say, you couldn't even recognize him at all. That's so bad, nigga. Bro. At all. That's so terrible. So that's the same thing. And then years later, years later, you t- you said, "Oh yeah, he didn't whistle." Bitch, you should be in jail. That's what I'm saying. I don't care how old you are. You should rot in jail. <laughs> not real shit. Like you should really die in jail. Like I'm not gonna lie. I don't care how. Like that's not fair, bro. That's not fair. You basically you. That's murder. You kill somebody. That is murder. You kill somebody. And I feel like people should still care because at the end of the day, bro, just because oh, it was back in the day and 19, uh, racism was, you know, raving the streets, whatever, bro. It doesn't mm-hmm. matter, bro. They didn't do nothing. It doesn't matter, Like, bro. that's fucked up. Just because just, just cause his sister's got a better... You dead ass. Uh, his sister's got a better dress than him, than her. It's never that You serious. should really die. You should really die. But... I'm glad she was. I'm glad she was haunted. I hope that that other lady was haunted for life too, my nigga. Because that shit, that shit. I, when I heard that story, that shit really pissed me off. It's bro. so bad, bro. It's crazy. What 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 extent people will go to just because you were black back in the day? Like it doesn't make any sense. Like mm-hmm. you could not do something, bro. I seen. <laughs> oh my god, bro. What? <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you about to tell me? I seen. I seen. I seen pictures, bro. Just like rare pictures, um, back um, of just straight um, Pete white people, uh, just harassing black people, bro. Yeah, there was, <laughs> there was a black family. I don't know if it was a family or whatever. They were in the pool. People, oh yeah, with the acid shit, throwing acid in yeah, the pool. Yeah, yeah, I seen that. I seen that. I seen that. I seen that. That's od. That's terrible. For no reason. They're just enjoying their time. Enjoying their time. Like, why? And and not only that, <laughs> the nigga went to an extent. You know how angry a nigga <laughs> got to be? <laughs> to the nigga the, the last picture the nigga was jumping inside the pool <laughs> like with like <laughs> Wait, did the white guy was doing it? Yo, word to the nigga the nigga jumped in the pool like this. Like, you know how angry a nigga got to be to do that shit? That's what I'm saying, bro. Just because the niggas in the pool? I don't know why they be so angry at us, bro. I don't understand, I don't bro. Know. They still be like that to this day, bro. Oh, of course. They still be like that, bro. It, and it's crazy because, nigga, that's been so fucking long. And I'm supposed to get past like, this, bro. Supposed to, but I, I doubt racism is going to. Because at the end of the day, bro, I don't know if it's going to happen. But at the end of the day, bro, people pass down their ideologies to their kids, to the kids' kids. That's what I'm kids. saying. 
it's gonna keep it's, it's gonna, gonna keep, keep going. It going. It's gonna keep the same going. way. Like it's gonna be at least like a couple races, motherfuckers that just uh, can't stand black people, bro. This is, yeah, and I, I feel like I feel like there's definitely little it. towns that are still like straight racism. Hell yeah, yeah, but I ain't never going there, bro. But I, I got I got another story to talk to you about because I remember since we were talking about like the little the little ghost shit, like the shadowy things. Freaking, I was I was reading the story about Aaron Rodgers and how he was being like haunted by some shit, right? Mm -hmm. So back in like I think 2020 or 2022 or whatever, he had a he was going through like you know like little like depression like mental stuff. So he took a trip to Peru and he took like this little psychedelic drug. It's called freaking Achusa. Achusa. It's some weird. I never I never heard about it. But it's supposed to like open your heart and open like your mind to things, right? So he took it and he felt like extremely better. And like once you take it, you like you start feeling like grateful for stuff. Okay. Yeah. So once he took it though, he started seeing this figure, a shadowy figure at night with a hat on. It's called his name is Hat Man. And like he that, says, that was so, that's the worst name. It's a crazy name, but it's mad. It's like so like it's like a some shit that's been going around like all over the world. It's like a sleep paralysis demon. Mm -hmm. So you know when you have sleep paralysis, you can't move. Yeah. So. So a lot of people report like when they have sleep paralysis, they see him, and it's like a, a dark figure with a hat on, like them little like the little top hats and shit like that. Mm -hmm. And then he's either just like staring at you or is just like coming towards you. And he says like for Aaron Rodgers, he talks about how every he sees him like uh pretty often, and when he sees him, he either has like a knife in his hand or like a dead rabbit. And then wow. and then even his teammates like report saying like sometimes when Aaron's in the locker room by himself, the lights flicker on and off, and he doesn't like being in the room by himself. Oh, that's crazy. And, like, they say, like, when, like, I guess the whole legend, like, how you know he's going to appear is, like, when you have sleep paralysis, when you wake up, you can't move, and mm -hmm. you feel, like, a big-ass, like, heavy weight on your chest, and mm -hmm. then you'll just walk in the room, and then it's just, like, a... some Wait, so Aaron is still being haunted by this? Yeah, supposedly. Supposedly? That's crazy. Yeah, th this ghost shit is crazy, because have you heard, um, ah, what flight was it called? Uh, flight nineteen something. I forgot. I forgot what it was called. Hold on, let me look it up. Is it the Malaysian shit? I don't think so. It's not that nah, flight that nah, got. Nah, nah, nah. It was in Florida. Hold on. <clears throat> oh, you about to look it up? I think it was in the Everglades. Yeah. Hold on. Damn, I'm mad. So I closed my fucking laptop. That shit stopped the thing. <clears throat> uh, Ghost of Flight four hundred one. What's that? Four hundred one. So like. <clears throat> So I think it was in 19, 19, 19 something, late 19 or sort of mid 19 something. Yeah. Right. Um, <clears throat> so this, uh, there was this flight and it was like a whole bunch of people. Mm -hmm. It's like, like it could hold like hundreds of people and shit. Yeah, like, like the, the big airplanes. The big airplanes. Yeah, I got you. So they were, I think they were going, oh yeah, it was in JFK. It was from the JFK. I think it was from the JFK. Um, oh, airport. Airport, going to like Florida. Yeah. And it was in the. Uh, they were in the Everglades and stuff like that. So you know how, when the pilots want to land or whatever, mm -hmm. they bring down the stuff the wheels by the, the wheels on the bottom, and it has this uh, light bulb to show that you know the shit's all down. The shit's down. Yeah. So one of the light bulbs wasn't going on. Mm-hmm. And they had like four, four pilots around that time. Like mm -hmm. there, there was one, one main pilot, two, one co-pilot, and uh, engineer, and what was the other guy? Technician. I don't think he was a technician. I don't know. I don't know what he was, but he was just there. Mm -hmm. Um. <clears throat> so the light wasn't 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 going off. So they kept on flicking the lights, seeing if it was working, and this, that, and third. And it wasn't work. It wasn't working. Um, so there was on top. There was in the Everglades and stuff like that. And they were. Just, they was like, oh, okay, just roam around to see what you know. Oh, like fly around. Fly and shit. around so until you can see what the problem was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So they kept on flying around and stuff like that. And then he, um, the main pilot, I forgot what his name was. The main pilot, he told them to. He told the engineer or whatever the technician to, yo, go check what's going. On. Check, go check because there's a bottom of the plane. You could see through like a uh, people. You could see outside of the plane mm -hmm. and see if like the wheels came down. Yeah. So he said, go down there. It's called the hell. It was. It's called the hell hole or some shit like that. Yeah. 
There's like there's like um go check if if you know if, if you see if you see the problem yeah go check and see if the the wheels like are down. wheels are down. So he went to go check, but when the main pilot tried to, you know, he turned around. He turned around like this to go talk to him. Mm-hmm. When the main pilot did that, it was said that he like moved the wheel. So it was auto, out of autopilot. It was on autopilot. It was and then it mm-hmm. completely went off. So then, you know, it was dark and shit like that. So people people really couldn't see. And it was gradually going down, so it didn't feel like. It oh, was, so he didn't know that. He so he didn't know it was going down. Oh, he, it, it, like, but it, it was said that there was a beeper or alarm mm-hmm. that um told him that he was going below altitude. Yeah, yeah. But the beeper was first of all, he he was so fascinated on what the fuck the bulb, why the bulb not coming off, why <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know. And his co-pilot was trying to figure out like, why the bulb not going off this that, and the third. He didn't hear the alarm. Yeah, that told him he was under. I think it was two thousand. Mm-hmm. And just like damn, and the ball and the shit wasn't even that loud. Damn. So, so um, he's you know they're at, at the end of the day they're going down. It's crazy because it's, it's ironic because there was um a guy in the plane that was writing a letter. He was like he was like yo, this is a great flight. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yo, not trying to be, not trying to be rude. He was like, yo, he was writing a letter telling them, tell them how, it, uh, which, which, which flight was that? You know, Eastern. It was Eastern, I think. Southwest. Southwest. Was it out Southwest? I yeah. said Eastern. <laughs> <laughs> I think it's an Eastern flight. Yo, that's funny. Yeah, Southwest. They're like, they're like, oh, this is such a great flight. Uh, <laughs> the, the pilot's great. Is that there? <laughs> Damn, nigga, they even know what the fuck was coming. <laughs> so what happened? Okay, so they're going down. They're going down. They eventually crash. Uh huh. Hella people got injured. Hella people died. Um, this and the third. R.I.P. to them. And uh, the everybody, the co-pilot, the pilot, the engineer died. But one of them, the the guy that wasn't that we don't know where he was. That we don't know he lived. Mm-hmm. And um. And the guy who was writing the writing the, um, the letter? letter, he lived too. But a lot of people died and stuff like that. So years ago, by and shit like that, they started using because it was brand new. It was brand new like material and shit like that. Mm-hmm. They started using like material material from that plane, yeah, to other planes, mm-hmm. and other 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 flights and shit like that people and it's crazy people have the same story it's crazy um people would see like ghost in the everglades no people in that flight in in whatever flight they were on people would see ghost in like inside their flight inside the plane so like there was um so does it it, does it have to be like the southwest it was it was yeah i think it had to be southwest Oh. Like people were using and that like, type of plane, yeah. Because be, because um, it was said that people were using like the I I don't know the material that had something to do. Oh, okay. I yeah, know what you mean. I know yeah. what you mean. They like they like Con- refurbished the plane. Yeah. Like so okay, okay. So people um so like like the flight attendants and other shit like that. They they had like it was a head count or whatever. Mm-hmm. And people, you know, it was like, wait, there's this extra. There's this extra guy over here, is then there. The nigga, the niggas just standing still, looking down like niggas couldn't see their face, just standing still. Really? Or sit? I, I think he was sitting down, just just standing there, not looking, or not looking at him. And he's like, "Yo, uh, like, di- like, are you here to do this and third? I don't know." And then he, and then he wasn't saying nothing. And then there was this guy. He came in. He looked. He looked down, and his uh, he's like, "Yo, this was the pilot from, I forgot what his name was though. Ah, the uh, pilot from the crash. From the crash. He's like, yeah, this was him, and he completely disappeared in in front of his in front of their eyes. Really? Right in front of them. Oh, right in front of them. Like, like this, this is like, on the flight. It was on the flight. Oh, well, before people started coming in, I guess it, it, it was just you know the flight attendants and the yeah, pilots yeah, and shit yeah. like that." just disappeared in front of him and and it was said that 
everyone was po- reporting that to Southwest and shit like that. And Southwest was always keeping it low, like, oh, this didn't, this didn't happen, this didn't, like, this didn't happen. They're just saying shit like that. But people, like, some people who were like seeing the documents and shit like that, mm-hmm. and they would see like whatever was said, and yeah, it it was reported that it happened. Like Yo. I think it was like four, five, six people seeing that shit. Like right in front of their eyes. What year was this? Like in the in the probably like, like mid nineteen hundreds, maybe late nineteen hundreds. I'm not sure. Like in like the eighties, seventies, probably. Because that's say, when I'd say sixties, sixties probably seventies. Like and like the early one, they, because I know they started flying. They probably had like commercial start commercial flights probably like in like the fifties and shit like that. Oh, for real? I think so. Because I know they started flying in like the the early nineteen hundreds. Okay. And then, but they didn't make like airlines until maybe like the fifties maybe 40s type shit like after the war that's when they started doing like airplanes like you can fly i think i can't remember mm-hmm. but no nah, that's old imagine you see that shit my nigga. yeah imagine yeah they, i'll never fly like, south pe- once again bro oh god people, people <laughs> you know what's crazy because people people would see the engineer too really they would see that nigga. there was one time the engineer literally told the the pilot that there was something wrong oh like he walked up to the actual pilot of the literally plane. was like there's something wrong with the plane and he had, and he went to go check, and there was actually something wrong with the plane. Oh, like he tried to like save and him. And he said he saved him. Yeah, but most of the time they was literally like he they they just looked down. They just looked down at him and didn't do nothing. Like they just looked down. That's scary, and bro. If I was, was North, said, if I was Southwest, I wouldn't want to talk about that shit either. Yeah, exactly. And it was said that they ignored like all the allegations and this and the third. Yeah, but they took off any material that had something to do. With that, with that crash. Oh. So they they obviously know something. Yeah, so they know. But they, but they, you know. So they, so basically, with the crash plane, they was trying to use that, like, like use the the materials for new planes. Yeah, for new planes for oh, other planes or something. Okay. Because it was it was still new, like material, like it was still it was it costed a lot of money. It, it you know they didn't want to just. So I guess salvage it and just yeah. throw it away and not use so it. They so just they want to just reuse it. Yeah, they use it on other planes, and I guess. That is like that. Them shits were like a c- connection to the real world to type ver- shit, the spirit world and shit like that. I don't know. Nah, it was crazy. But all right, I got another question, right? So, would you rather try? So now, would you rather try to survive survive a month, but you have you have all the survival gear you need, right? So you have food for a month. You get yeah. So I'll give you. So you have to try to survive a month. And we'll give you all the food for a month. So you don't got to go hunt for your food. So it's you have to survive a month on a remote island filled with danger. You don't know what the danger is. It could be animals. It could be the native people. Or you have to try to survive a cave system that is haunted by ghosts and demons. And it's pitch black. And if and for the for the island, we'll give you a knife. For the cave, we'll give you a flashlight. A flashlight only? Yeah, only a flashlight. So it's basically... Physical or your mental, bro? You said it's pitch black in the cave. Pitch black darkness. But we'll, they'll the give flashlight, you, does the flashlight run out? They give eventually. you batteries. They'll give you batteries. There's nothing in the cave. It's just ghosts. It's just haunted. Ooh, wee. Haunted cave system. Or oh, no. a remote island that's filled with danger. It could be animals. Or it could be the native people. It's haunted? Yeah, it's haunted. That's, haunted cave system. Oh bro. shit! Say <laughs> so it could be animals and stuff like that. I don't, I'm, bro. I might do the cave. You think so? You think you survive? Can, that? can they? Can they? Can they not like? Can, can they might they, not be able to touch you, but you might be like getting sick of it. Like yo, I can't take this shit no more. Yeah. Like you don't know how much like mental fatigue that shit may cause. Oh, yeah, anymore. I know. I know. I know. That I, shit. I, be, the stories that I be hearing, people be going crazy when it comes to that shit. Yes. Um, they they start seeing shit. They start just ah uh, man, the people be going crazy. Um, I think I might try my luck with the in the forest. Why? In the, on the you island, know what's bro. in that bitch? I'm just I'm gonna have to. That's, bro. That that's 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 snakes. That's I'm too scared. That's bro. um <laughs> whatever is in that bitch. Like like chimpanzees. <laughs> Imagine you see a chimp. Like I got a knife. Nah, chimps come in groups. <laughs> <laughs> it's case. I'm just gonna have to avoid them as much as much as humanly possible. I'll probably just stay on the coast 
and just hope like nobody. But they can come to you. That's what I'm saying. Like I'm just gonna. You said for how long? A, a year? Month. A, a month? month? Oh, a month? It might be type easy. Yeah, I just I just try to stay on the coast. But like, say it's native people. Ooh. If the natives see me, it might nah, be over. Case. No, no, it will be over. But like, I can't like just imagine a dark ass. Like you gonna go insane, bro. Nah, a month. You're definitely going insane. Like a, a month in darkness, bro. In darkness. You're yeah. gonna go crazy. But you have a flashlight. You have a flashlight, but you can never tell what time of day it is. That's true. You might not know how long. You might be. You might think you've been in there for like 15 days. Only been two days. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Nah, I'm I'm gonna I'm go insane. And I'm I'm. I'm and it's solid, haunted. And, and it's by myself too. Yeah, and it's haunted. Solitary. You yeah. start seeing shit? Nah, bro. Come on. Yeah. I, I can't. At honestly, least I know. Honestly, at the end of the day, like when you do come out from that month, you're not you're not gonna be the same. Oh hell no, you're not. Hell so, no, bro. So you're gonna continue see so at the end of the day, yo, you're gonna continue seeing them shit. Exactly. Your mind is gonna be fucked so up. I didn't even think of that. <laughs> so therefore, physically, I'm definitely like using the knife, bro. I'm gonna go, at go, the end of the day, bro. You gonna go to the, the island, bro? Yeah, I'm going to I think island. I'm gonna go to the island too. I, because, I got to. Because at the end of the day, bro, if something happens, something happens, I don't gotta go through it after I'm even after of you know when whatever. I'm done. When I'm done. You know what I'm Unless saying? Unless they yeah, I mean, you might have some trauma, but it's not that bad. It's not that it's bad. It's not as bad as, Joe, just imagine you just hear screaming in the middle of the night. Like, you I hear can, running. Oh, my God. Like, yeah, exactly. Oh, no, that's crazy. Imagine but, you're sleeping. You just hear running footsteps. Like, ah, yeah, like PTSD. Bro, but I'm not going to lie. Like, shit. it's at the end of the like, like, you know how people go to war and shit like that. Yeah. People, you get know. Get PTSD and they shit. They get PTSD. Yeah. I'd, pro- I'd, pro- I'd rather, I don't know. I'd rather go through that than than than, than hearing or seeing shit that's not there. That's not there. Yeah, I, that's a, that's a like, good. That's definitely. That's I, I, don't, could, I don't want to be schizophrenic. Bro. I could go to war with the, the native people. I might. I'm not gonna live. You but gonna live. <laughs> I'm not gonna live. Not but live. I'm going. Like if I see, like say, like a damn, if a jaguar like pulled up. Ooh, a jaguar is crazy. I ain't gonna lie. That's a little much. That is a little much. Don't, don't give me a jaguar. You I'm just, not living. I feel like you just gotta stand your ground though. You do. But <laughs> just no, gonna, you do, bro. Like they said, like when a tiger <laughs> comes near you, do not run. Yeah, you just can't run. You gotta act like you know it's an intimidation factor. Yeah, it's like, like you gotta act like you you bigger. Uh-huh. Santa, I can't do that shit. <laughs> I might run, my nigga. <laughs> Yo, because what if I just stand still? <laughs> nigga still gonna kill me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, not, not, like, like, what can I do? Oh no, bro. Like, yeah. Imagine you're in a situation like that where it's either you hope it goes away, or you try to run and it still comes after you. Like, you gotta hope it goes away. You gotta hope. That I know it, he could be hunting you at the end of the day. Exactly. That would be freaking terrible. Like it's crazy, bro. Like Jeez. man, bro. Imagine I'm like I'm like still trying to trying to like act big or act like act like I'm bigger than him and stuff like that. And he's still, still gonna say I'm pussy. I know, right? And try, and try to kill me. Like <laughs> damn, I did what I was told to. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> I didn't bro. even run. That's tough. You did. You did all you can fucking do. I did do, all bro. I can do, bro. Damn, That's bro. That's why I don't want to go. Th- I, I don't want to like. Come face to face with shit like that. I'm like just hoping I'm. They'll, they'll be like little small animals, like a snake. I'll stab I'll that do, snake. I'll do a snake. Yeah, I just, I'm killing your dumb ass. <laughs> Don't. I'm scared of snakes though. Yeah, I know, I know. But at the end of the day, though, I'd rather that if if I if it's for my life, nigga, I'm killing your dumb That's ass. That's what I'm saying, bro. But if a not gonna lie, bro, if a chimp comes, oh my god, bro, you know what chimps do, bro? I know. Hey, they bro. are savages. I'm ready to go, bro. And they come, they kill their own, my nigga. They don't give a fuck. I got a weapon. I'm gonna kill that nigga. If there's and multiple, it's just a knife though. If it's multiple niggas, it might be deep. But yeah, it's just a knife, nigga. If it's if it's if it's one though, I'm killing that nigga. Oh, easy. I'm killing that nigga. No, not easy, but I'm killing that nigga. <laughs> <laughs> he's gonna not, die. No, he's gonna die. He's gonna die. But <sighs> that's tough. All right, I got I got another question. Right. So can we survive? Can we survive a year in these types of movies for ten billion dollars? Okay. So I'm gonna give you a type of movie and say if you can survive it or not. So the first one is like your common slasher movie, like Jason, Michael Myers. Say you live in a town and there's a killer in the town. You have to survive that for ten for a year. Hell yeah. You think you can survive without being killed? I think I think I can too. Like say like we live in Union, there's like a, a mass murderer running around. I could survive. But I would not like walk around. I won't like walk around by myself no more. Nigga, I won't walk around ever. 
Oh, you want to walk outside? I'm in my crib. <laughs> okay. Like, like I'm gonna be in the daytime all the time. All right. What if you like watching? What if you're outside and you see that nigga kill somebody outside and he sees you? I ain't see shit. <laughs> I ain't see shit, nigga. Wait. Okay. And he sees me though. Yeah. Now he then knows your face. He's gonna come after me. So now you gotta survive. <laughs> That's ass. That's so ass. But I think I can survive that. I think I can. A year, I think I could do that. That's not too bad. I think I can. Like, I think I can, but... That's just real life. Just not where we're around, but that, like some niggas might be living that shit on a daily Hell yeah, basis. On, on, yeah, but I don't know. Like, like, what can you do to prevent him from even, like, coming after you? Like, what can you do? I just got to keep make sure my, my doors is because all locked. Because they, they come through. The, they don't give a fuck. I know they, no, they, they if they break in through my door, then that's like, oh shit. Now yeah, we got like why? Yeah. Like, like why my house out of everything? <laughs> like why are you being weird? <laughs> like <laughs> why are you everything? being weird is like, crazy. Nah, real shit. Cause <laughs> you've seen my shit locked. <laughs> <laughs> you you wanted to kill niggas that bad. You break through my door. Like, why are you why are you doing that? You could have went to this you nigga. You could have went here. to the, 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 another nigga, bro. Like that like, has no like, lock I'm, doors. I'm not a challenge, bro. Go fight the the, just, the, the big nigga. That's what I'm saying, like, bro. Like you gonna kill me easy. Get easy. somebody that's gonna fight. I mean, I'm still gonna fight back, but you gonna stop me easy. Go get the other nigga. Exactly. If you want a challenge, don't go for me. Exactly. Like, what too, the bro. fuck? Nah, bro. But the thing is though, like, think about it though. If we have if we have this and people know about that shit. That means we could handle guns. Yeah, we could. So you we could, could kill them niggas. So you, you, yeah, that's what I'm saying. All right, that's why I could kill them. I could. I survive that. I shit. ain't gonna lie, bro. If we if we go out as a group, but remember, Michael the Myers, they couldn't kill that nigga word for shit. Which is stupid because that nigga is is, is a regular guy. <laughs> they couldn't kill that nigga for for shit, bro. Like that's so dumb. I don't know. I'd kill Michael Myers. So you you surviving the slasher movie? Yeah, I was survive. All right, I bet. If All I right. got gun. Next is a zombie movie. Zombie apocalypse type of movie. Can you survive a year in a zombie apocalypse, basically? Yeah. You think so? Yeah. I seen a fact that said in the matter of a month, the population of the earth will go to 200 if there's a zombie apocalypse ever. You serious? Yeah, so you will be part of them 200 people? Just imagine Fuck the no. whole population of the earth is turned to 200. <laughs> <laughs> nah. You know, I think I'm going to be... I feel like I will, I will survive a decent amount. It's a but year. I, I know. I don't know if I'm gonna go a year though. I might get lacking like three months in. Like I might get complacent. I'm like, yo, I'm I'm kind of I'm nice at this shit. I kill a couple zombies and then I, some nigga just barge down my door. I'm dead. Nah, I could do it. You think you could do it? Is it is it is it Walking Dead zombies? It's just it's zombies in general. So the Living Dead. So there's like a sickness going around killing niggas. I could do it. You could do it. All right, all right. I hope so. How about a giant monster movie? Fuck no. As in like. There's the Megalodon, Godzilla. Godzilla. I'm dead. <laughs> you dead? What can I do about that? I mean, that's not fair. You can't do nothing, but you could just like hope it doesn't go towards you. Nope. Nope. <laughs> it's in Union. I'm just saying, like, there might be like a giant creature in Union hunting niggas. Yeah, it's case. Oh, no, nah, I just thought about that. That's very terrible. Imagine, bro. That's very ass. And Union's not that big. That's what I'm saying. Just imagine there's like so a creature. It's gonna be. It's gonna come to my crib eventually. I'm not gonna survive. I'm not for ten billion. I'm not even gonna try that one. I'm, no. not, I'm not surviving that one. Hell no. I'm not surviving that one. <laughs> Fuck that. Now that I'm thinking about it, about the zombie apocalypse, I'm like, damn. Will I survive that? But I think I can if I got the right people with me. Yeah, no, but when the people start dwindling, like they just start going down, like you just start getting less Ooh, and less and less. In this case, <laughs> like if you, you start folding, saying? then I'm folding. You know what I'm saying? But if if we solid, if we ten toes, then I think I could survive. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> that's not bad. Giant, 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 giant monsters. Monster? Nah, dude. Nah. All right, how about a an alien invasion movie? <sighs> nah. Alien invasion. Just imagine we find aliens for a year straight. I'm not going to lie. Would you? I would try my best to stay far clear of the hot cities. Like, I'm going to the Midwest, my nigga. I'm staying away from New York City because that's where they be fighting at. You ever notice, like, all the alien moves, they be fighting in, in, the, in, the, in the cities and shit. Yeah. So, I don't know. Aliens. If it's, like, aliens from... Like what? What? What movie? What movie was just, it? Just, just an any alien coming down. Like there's space. On. The normal alien space. Because ships. like if it's like aliens versus predator movie, bro. Nah, not shit like that. That's like a fucking. But it could be. It could be like. It could be like 
aliens where they have ships, or it could be like where they just drop a, a alien monster down. No, nah, I'm dead. You think you're dead? I yeah, think I'm, I'm dead. dead too. I'm dead. I'm dead. Because <sighs> no, nah, I'm dead. You dead? I'm dead. All right. And then the last one is a life or death movie where it's like, you know, when people go on, they go on vacations and they end up being like stranded, like on like an island or shit like that, or they're like stranded in like either the wilderness or they're like having to fight for their lives because there's like terrorists and shit like that. Yeah. Shit like that. Say like you get, say you crash land in like a, a island, you have to survive. I fucking hate those movies. <laughs> because it's like, fuck. I really look at my like self in that in that situation. In that environment, like how are you going to perform? So, like how I perform. How yeah. would you perform? Ass. <laughs> so I think I'm dead, my nigga. You think, I think I can survive that one. I can't survive that one, for, bro. For ten billion dollars. But it's crash. So so you so at the end of the day, bro, you gotta find how to survive like Survive with to, nothing. With nothing. Yeah, I know. And you know, I always tell you, bro, I don't wanna go to the wilderness. I don't wanna <laughs> go to the woods. I don't wanna go camping. I don't you wanna do say do this that. You do say that. So if that happens to me, I have no knowledge. I'm just gonna sit there, let nature take its course, and kill me. <laughs> just gonna, just gonna take I'm just it. gonna let it happen, bro. Well, no, I'm not gonna let. I ain't pussy like that. That's I'm, what I'm saying. I'm, 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 I'm gonna try to fight. That's I'm gonna try to fight, but it's like, bro, you 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 have to hunt. Yeah. You have to protect yourself. You have to find stuff to protect yourself. You do. You have to make stuff to protect yourself. You do. You have to make shelter. You have to make everything. That's just too much work for you. Mad work. <laughs> Why the fuck I gotta do all that shit? You gotta survive, bro. I feel like when shit, like I be looking at myself, like damn, like <laughs> nah, I be weird. Like I be thinking I have like like ghosts in my crib, so I be like like predicting like a moment, like if like a demon show up, like yo, it's time to kill this nigga. But what are you gonna do? I don't know, but I'm just gonna I'm just gonna get whatever. If I see like say like I'm in my kitchen, I turn around, there's a ghost right there. I'm like I'm like I can't be scared. Mm-hmm. I gotta be ready, ready to either fight or just die, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I'm ready to go, bro. Yo, honestly, bro, I, I think about it that way too. Like, like you know, when you hear all these stories, you look at yourself in that predicament, and mm-hmm. you 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 like, damn, what would I do? And it's like, damn, what if I'm that person that sees any t- like a ghost? Mm-hmm. Like, what will I do? <laughs> what will I do? That's like, why I prepare myself. Like, you know, it's time. You know what you're going to do. You're just going to have to either not be scared and just walk away. Or if he comes at you, you just got to go do some shit, bro. <laughs> Whatever happens, happens, bro. Nah, I feel that. Fuck it, bro. We go all out. But you're not. So the life or death one is deep. It's deep nah, it's deep for me. <laughs> it's deep for me. You, you probably could survive that I shit. I think I you, can. You like, sh- you like shit like that. Well, you don't like shit like that. but I you, think I could tolerate it. You could tolerate it. More than you can. It. Me, I can't do that. That's tough, bro. That's not it, though. You got you got anything you want to talk about before I go into the one topic? Yeah. um, For, dang, it was like a couple topics ago, though. We was talking about the magic. We was talking about magic? No, we, the, didn't you say you want to talk about that? No. That Russian guy. Yeah. So do you believe, do you believe in magic? Like, people could obtain magical powers. I think in a way, but not in a way where it's going to make niggas fly. I feel like in a way where you could like, I think it's more of illusion rather than magic. So you don't think, you don't think like the people who witchcraft is a thing. Yeah. So, but I think maybe I know I I feel like there's at least maybe one person in this world that has some magical powers type shit. So do you think like witchcraft is a thing and like voodoo and shit like that? Yeah. So do you think people has the power to heal other people? With no medical, I don't think so. Thing. I feel like if if they do, it's like a placebo. It's a placebo. Yeah, yeah. Because I mean, in in a way, me too. Yeah. Because um, yeah. So there was this guy named Grigory um Rasputin. I don't know if you heard of him before. Mm-hmm. So he was like some some poor Russian bro, some poor guy, and you know he, you know he he started like. He started like uh, traveling to like across Russia and shit like that, mm-hmm. and he went on this religious, religious uh, like, travel, like and journey and journey shit, and shit yeah, like I get that. You. Came back like a new man, mm-hmm. like a, a new man, but his like he enlightened, had a, yeah, enlightened. But he had an ideology, bro. He had like ideology where he he slept with literally every woman, Are like you thousands, <laughs> and he never bathed. That's disgusting. At all. 
He slept. He slept. He slept. I'm with, judging them women. <laughs> no word too. Word too. <laughs> me too. He slept with mad women. So he um, and and like uh, he just you know he just ha- was like a new man type shit. So yeah. he be he ha- some people like believed like he had like some type of or he was like the antichrist or he had like powers and stuff like that and he became real close friends with the emperor the emperor of russia around that time i think yeah. it was arthur king arthur or emperor arthur the second some some like that mm-hmm. and his uh son had hemophi- hemo- hemophilia you know what that is is it a disease yeah like it, it was like so like if somebody i think it's like and test like blood. Like if somebody like cuts themselves, mm-hmm. like a little cut, it's like a lot of blood loss. Oh, okay, okay. You know okay. what I'm saying? Yeah. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure that's the case. But so at that time, hemophilia, like the life expect expectancy, like around that time, if they had that, was like 13. Yeah. And the the emperor had like mad daughters. And he was the only son, so oh, so he was, he yeah, needed, he was, he needed somebody you know, to help he, him, to help him, and doctors couldn't help him. Design third, and um, he invited Rasputin because he heard about Rasputin's uh, oh, reputation and shit yeah. like that, and he, he like all he did was sp- he would spit on the kid. Literally, like, or like praying and spitting on the kid, mm-hmm. and the kid would just heal out of nowhere. Really? Like, out of nowhere. Like, he didn't have the disease no more? He didn't. Well, it's not like he didn't have the disease, but it because felt, it just, it just helped it. It helped it. Like, it, it, he became like way better I, as soon as he was uh, done, like, doing whatever he had to do. Really? Yeah, as soon as he was done. And doctors, there were times that doctors would, like, the kid became mad sick. And the doctor was like, um, they they put out a letter and to the kid like they put out a letter and would tell like their fa- his their father that oh he's about to die yeah th- right now because you know he's real sick and Rasputin would c- go over there and again spit on him and he would live again it would like he would just be fine so. When was this? This was like in like the fifteen hundreds, like like earlier times, or was this like recently? Do you remember? Shit, bro. Because if this was recent, that's okay. No, nah, it was not. It was definitely not recent. Like it was like seventeen hundred, eighteen hundred. Yeah, it was. It was. It was around those times. Oh, okay, okay, okay. It was around those times. Like, like I be saying, bro, where should be happening back in the day, bro? I know. Like, that's what I'm all, saying. All the time, bro. You don't see shit like this happen. Like right now. So, do you believe like that was like a true thing, or was that you think it was like a legend? I I heard some of the shit he uh w- that was told about him was like exaggerated for the oh, story. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. But at the end of the day, bro, nobody knows. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? So I so I I have no choice but to believe it. But I'm not gonna lie, he was assassin. He was, uh, you know, attempted assassinated like twice or three times nigga live and they, they put cyanide in his poison uh, they, uh, and they, in his in his food and he still lives and he's still a cyanide to kill like a whole village and he still, <laughs> and he lived? still lived he asked for like he, he nigga was like he asked for like wine or something <laughs> nigga still lived and be, but it was like known that he that nigga was a nasty nigga like it was known <laughs> it was known for like Every day, yeah. Every morning, mm-hmm. I heard cyanide or garlic, yeah, like reduces cyanide. Um, oh, so he would like eat garlic. He would eat garlic literally every day in that's the morning disgusting. for no reason, and the nigga didn't bathe for no reason. So I think that's why. I know he stink. No, he stunk crazy. <laughs> so I think that's why. Like I guess the cyanide didn't work. Yeah, and he got stabbed because people thought he was an antichrist. He uh-huh. lived on that, and after the cyanide. Like after he drank the cyanide, or, uh, or ate, ate the cyanide, it, yeah. they was like, "Yo, what the fuck? He's he's alive." They shot him. He's nigga st- lived and pu- <laughs> and punched the nigga that shot him. <laughs> what the hell? This, so this nigga is basically Superman. The word too. The nigga. The nigga was Superman, and it's crazy because he basically became like the p- 
power behind any like any choice, any decision that the emperor or empress made. They had to go through him. They. It's not that they had to go they through him. They looked to him. For they like, looked to him. Like like a lot of people got fired and and like because of him. Because of him. Ooh. Like exiled because of him. So that's why people wanted to, um, kill him. I get you. I get you. So he had too much power. He had way too much power. That's od. And it's crazy because he uh, he said he told the wife of the emperor that if he dies like everything everything in uh everything that they their legacy will fall mm-hmm. so after they shot him and punched and he punched a guy yeah with a bullet with a bullet on his in his chest and shit like that and it goes running after the guy and then two other people came and shot him and shot he him died. in the head and he died and they did put him in like some it was it was known that even after he got shot twice or three times, nigga was still moving. So this while, thing's like immortal or something? Like type shit, bro. He, he was still it, like it was said that he was still moving, but I, I don't believe that shit. No, nah, I think that might be the one of the stretches. Yeah, but um uh after he died, everything fell. It mm-hmm. fell apart. Like Oh really? Literally everything fell apart. Like um everyone like started rebelling against the emperor the 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 family everyone started just they lost the war like the the emperor was deemed like he was like the worst general that was like ever ever like that was That's going, that so was crazy. and and um at the they exiled they they killed the whole family basically like out Damn, of nowhere Damn, that's crazy like, that's crazy nigga that, that's why i'd be like yo is that like coincidence? Because like he even told them that it would happen. It would happen. Like, and it's like, is that See, a coincidence? I think that there might be people like that. Because I heard like I feel like if you unlock certain parts of your brain, you can do a lot of things. Yeah. So maybe when he went on them, like a religious, lot of people yeah. say, when you take when they go on like the religious retreats, they take like psychedelics, mm. and once you take that, it's like you unlock different parts of like your mind that was like closed off by like whatever you've been around so mm-hmm. like maybe he had some type of magic like i feel like like in the in the mountains like the monks that are like isolated from everybody i feel like some of them niggas have powers mm-hmm. like either super strength or like they can't get hurt or some shit like that yeah but like them niggas bro like that shit is crazy yeah because they're always like you meditating. seen that you seen that picture of that nigga that was on fire yeah i seen that I so seen like that. like and he was just standing he was just he was sitting just sitting there. there so i'm like i don't know bro yeah, but it's, it's crazy but i got another conspiracy to talk to you about, bro. So you know, so this is a this is a cool one, right? Because I never did a NBA conspiracy on here. So I have a conspiracy on Jimmy Butler and how you know MJ's how, his dad, MJ's his father. <laughs> I seen that. You seen that I shit, seen bro? That shit. You, Yo, what, oh my god, bro. when I was watching it, I'm like, damn, do I want to believe this? Do you but believe it though? I don't. Like, cause see, look, it's hard though. Look, it's like so. When Jimmy, everybody knows. So people, if y'all don't know, Jimmy Butler plays on the Miami Heat. Yeah. So how it is, right? So Jimmy Butler was um, kicked, kicked out of his out house when 13. he was thirteen, mm-hmm. right? And the, the the reason why his mother said because like she he didn't looked, yeah, the way he yeah, looked right. and shit like that. She's yep. like, okay. And then so Just supposedly a crazy statement. It's a crazy right. statement. And then so he's been jumping from house to house to house. And he never his father abandoned him at birth. Yeah. But supposedly Michael Jordan had an affair with a woman. Yeah. And he abandoned that kid at birth because he didn't want a um reputation reputation he, to go he, down. He, he had, had a, a wife, family. Right? Yeah. yeah. And like I think isn't Jimmy Butler from Chicago? Yeah. So he's from Chicago. So, yep. so like the only thing Michael Jordan was able to do was to give that lady money yeah. for thirteen years. Right? Mm-hmm. And Jimmy Butler was Orf was uh, kicked out of the house when he was 13. Mm-hmm. And I guess the mother said, like, yo, the, the real reason why I kicked him out is because the payment stopped coming in. Mm-hmm. And like, if you tell, if look at Jimmy Butler, you look at Michael Jordan, like, them niggas is kind of they, like. They kind of look alike. They kind of look alike. They kind of act the same way. Low key. Like, you see how Michael, like, you see how Michael Jordan be talking to niggas. You see how mm-hmm. Jimmy Butler got that same edge to him. Mm-hmm. So you never know, bro. Yeah, because I seen, I seen the side by side picture of him and Michael Jordan. I'm like, wait, did you see yeah. the shit on TikTok? Nah, I watched a whole video. I think it was Mike Korzemba. Oh, you see? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. Good. Um, I'm not gonna lie. Like, I see like the picture of him side by side. I'm like, what the fuck? Why the fuck they actually? He looked like a young Michael Jordan. I'm not gonna lie. That's what I'm saying. Low key. It's weird, but like, like I don't, I don't know. It could be, it could be just a stretch, but like it might be some type of. 
I like, feel like there's some bro. I feel like Magic got some kid in the NBA. Oh yeah, Magic Kareem, free. Oh not Kareem. Uh, Will. Yeah, I know they got oh, some. Yeah, they definitely got Will, some kid in yeah. the NBA. Exactly. Them niggas was fucking everybody. Exactly. No, there's no way. And I doubt they were using condoms. I know Magic wasn't using no condoms. Nigga, they didn't even have that shit back in the year. HIV, what the fuck? That's oh, you got AIDS. Yeah. So, so it's like, bro, there's no way. There's no possible way that, that he only has one kid. That's what I'm saying. There's no way. There's no way now. There's but no way. They're I don't like, know. And you know, those, those, those bitches back in the day were probably some... They're probably some thoughts. I ain't gonna lie. So, <laughs> so they, they probably even know who the fuck the father is. That's what I'm saying, kid. bro. So it could be magic. Could be it possibly. Could be. That's shit crazy. You never know. But I got another would you rather question, right? So, would you rather be jailed for a week for every bug you step on by accident or on purpose? For every bug you kill, you get jailed for a week, or you have in my to my lifetime and your life for yeah for the rest of your life, or you have to send half your paycheck every time. Every time you get a paycheck, you have to send half of it to a Save the Bug charity. What the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> save the Bug charity. Nigga. Get the fuck out of my face. Half of my shit? You got to half yeah, your paycheck. Right, for nigga, the rest I'm of going life. to jail. Oh, you going to go to jail? Word too. So, like, say, but like, you know how many bugs you step on by accident? You don't even know. Nigga, you might fuck around and get a year's worth of jail. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but it always half my paycheck half your paycheck to save a bug <laughs> yeah bro to save the <laughs> I don't even like them niggas them niggas could it's like, it's like nah. <laughs> uh, what was I gonna say man uh, what do I say about that yo I doubt that I step on that many bugs my nigga you never know bro bugs I is, never know but bugs it's like, is little but it's like still though like damn I'm, I'm just gonna have to move with caution my whole life <laughs> <laughs> like, oh, shit, that's the bug. Let me step over. Like, as soon as you step, you hear the, you hear the sirens. Like, what the fuck? I didn't do that. That's no- ass. I know. <laughs> Half my paycheck, though. I know. Just imagine you making OD bread. That's what I'm saying. That's like, like, and imagine, I got to save a bug. Imagine you making 10K a week. Like, what the fuck? Or 10K a bug? for two weeks. Like, like, what the fuck a bug going to do with my money right now? Exactly. Like, to charity? Yeah, bro. Nah, I'm I'm I'm, I'm gonna, gonna have to I'm, do the I'm jail. Might, thing, I might do bro. the jail. Let my money and move move with caution. Very caution, bro. Like I'm I'm not even gonna be looking up. I'm gonna be looking down. Nigga, while if I, I heard a bug, he's still alive. I'm gonna try to revive that nigga. How? <laughs> I <don't laughs> think about to do mini surgery on that nigga. Get the fuck out. Of here. That nigga <laughs> dead, bro. Nah, I'm gonna try. Well, to- yo, honestly, bro, if you step on a bug, but there's no way that shit's living. <laughs> I be seeing, I be stepping on the bug, and I be seeing that shit still twitching. I'm like, damn, that nigga suffering over. He <laughs> said, yeah, yeah, that nigga gonna die soon, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, Dude, like, I'm not gonna lie. If I see that shit, I don't end the suffering. You said what? I don't end yeah, the suffering. You just let that shit rock. You just let that shit. Like, twitch. nah, nah, nah. One time, I freaking like cut a bug in half, like one of them lantern flies. <laughs> he was like crawling. Oh, you're a psychopath. <laughs> not ch- that's fucking crazy. <laughs> this nigga there is just bro. That nigga said you had to kill all them lantern flies. I went crazy, bro. Wait, why? I don't. Cut I was in half. This nigga was just watching that shit like. <laughs> <laughs> nah, I was like, I was at work. <laughs> I was bored as hell, so I had a quarter. So I, at first, I hit him. I knocked him down. So he wasn't. He wasn't dead, but he was just like. It was just like, like days, and yeah. then I just I got a quarter. I said, Shh. "You're weird." I know it was. Like, it was like a key. <laughs> You were doing that shit? No. You didn't do it, dude? I laughed. <laughs> <laughs> I laughed. Nigga said, yeah. Nigga got a fucking name. You're a psychopath. <laughs> you act like you ain't never dr- you ain't never drowned in hills when you was a kid? <gasps> oh, shit. Oh, I never did that. You never seen like a like you never had an ant hill, bro. Yeah. I used to have a, I used to have a tree in front of my house, and there used to be ants in that shit. I used to get the watering holes and just spray that shit in the in the hole. Oh yeah, you have a problem. <laughs> Yo, you know what like with me, when it came with bugs, like I was never fascinated with that shit. So I didn't pay it no mind. Like if you see So you had <laughs> a little like you you enjoyed that shit. Like you never you never seen like like ants in your crib and you're like, Yo, why are these niggas in my crib? This is my shit. And you just start wilding on them? No. <laughs> like, what the wow. And, because ants are so small, so what are they gonna do? So what you just let them walk around your crib? Nah, it's not like I let them walk around my. No, nah, I'm killing them motherfuckers. Yeah, but like, but, but, nah, but, but you having a vendetta against them? Like, damn, this is in my crib, nigga. This that's 
That's now, I might be a psychopath. I'm yeah, that's lie. crazy. Like I remember there would be some the shits on the sink. I don't even crush them. I just throw water on them. The what? Like if, if like there's like there's like ants that go by my sink like in the kitchen. You just <laughs> <laughs> and I, start, I throw the water on them. That nigga, <laughs> that nigga's like struggling. Nah, you really want them to suffer. <laughs> nah, that's crazy. I'm not gonna lie. That's nuts. I'm not gonna lie. But I be feeling bad. Now there was one time I caught a. I caught like a bug in my room and I put him in some tissue paper, but I didn't crush him and I just threw him in the toilet. Why? <laughs> I see, isn't that, I mean, am I crazy people? No, nah, you am are. I, I don't know why, bro. Hey, psycho, I heard psychopaths. Nah, but like, I can't, I can't, I can't crush him, bro. Oh, with, you can't? With me, with me, I don't like, like if I got a spider, I ain't gonna lie. And like, I'm, I'm gonna try not to crush it because I don't t- like that feeling. Oh. I don't want that feeling. Oh. Like even though, like even if it's small, that shit's uh, that's like yeah, you're a psychopath though. <laughs> <laughs> hey, know, bro, I, I, I don't know what I don't know why, bro. I really don't. Nigga like found enjoyment with <laughs> like drowning ants. <laughs> That shit's crazy, bro. <laughs> Niggas that watch Ant Bully, I thought I, I related to I that did. very oh, of well. Of course, I, of course, I watched Ant Bully, but I didn't relate to it. I did. <laughs> it was a, it was a great movie though, but I, didn't relate I to did. It. I related to that. Like, like, yeah, yeah that I happen. remember. I remember. I did that shit. <laughs> oh shit, he got that from me, <laughs> <laughs> nigga. Weird, bro. <laughs> you weird as hell. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, you my. still do that shit though? Uh, nigga, twenty three years old, bro. Nah, if I if I see them lantern flies, I like. I like do some crazy shit. Like if I see him, like I gotta like murk, like I murk them niggas. <laughs> <laughs> like I gotta like like really fully like step on them. Sometimes, sometimes I just hit them on the ground and come back up and I hit them again. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, what? Like these niggas just get like like you can't. The government told me I gotta kill y'all niggas. I got bounty. There's a bounty on y'all niggas' heads, bro. <laughs> like y'all, I don't know what y'all niggas is, bro. Like I can't live for real. Like <laughs> nigga said you got a bounty, but nigga bounty under there. That's like just, funny. Like just imagine. So like I get my, my croc, right? I smack him at the air. He's just like he gets a stoom. <laughs> <laughs> nigga smack him again. <laughs> <laughs> nah. Yo, that's nuts. Nah, but nah, I thought about one time I thought about like putting like putting him in like a like a like putting like ice cubes around him. Ah, uh, you're doing too much. <laughs> 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 Jay look at me like I'm a crazy nigga. Yeah, you are. Yo, psychopaths is what if you they I see yo, shout that nigga I, I seen at a the the podcast nigga, he said if you a psychopath, you're gonna be successful. What are, what the fuck are I don't you know talking? what that means. That means I think outside the box, but I think I sit Oh, it's cause you think about outside the box? But I think I think so far outside the box, like I don't know where the box is anymore. Yeah. <laughs> like I think that's where I'm like you, you don't even got a box no more. Uh, you just you just think I'm there's just, a box. I'm just that. wandering. Yeah, you just wandering, oh, my nigga. Oh my god. This nigga said I'm gonna put ice around this motherfucker <laughs> and do what? I don't know, he might just freeze. And freeze? Uh, hypothermia. <laughs> He's about to get that shit hypothermia. <laughs> that's crazy. <laughs> nah, this nigga's weird. Like, like, oh nah, like, nah. I remember niggas used to get like the magnifying glass, and 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 and, uh, and use the sunlight. Sun, yeah. yeah, that's crazy. I used to do that one time. I did that one time, but it starts sm- it starts smelling bad though. <laughs> <laughs> I was burning that nigga. <laughs> right, I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. Damn. Now that now you just gave me a. Did you do that? No, not that. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. You. <laughs> I put I put I put I put salt on a worm before. I ain't oh, lie to you, that's terrible. That is bad. <laughs> but that's cause I seen it on on like YouTube. I'm like, yo, what the fuck? What is why is salt doing that? And worms worms has always been disgusting to me. So I never my I oh damn. <laughs> I might have a problem with worms. Cause I remember I used to cut the fuck. I ain't gonna lie. But nah, I put salt on a worm. I was just watching that shit. And he, what, he was just disintegrating? Huh? He was just, just fucking up. Like, I don't know what they was doing. It, it was, it was, you know, moving <laughs> and shit. I don't know. Bro. See, I think it gets weird when you start using animals. Oh, and then that, you want some that, Jeffrey Dahmer no, shit. I'm not, I would never do that to an animal. Yeah, the, the big, a big animal. Like, yeah, like a the, cat. Like a cat. That's bad. Like, you, you know, fucking, I'm not going to say his name. Nah, I know. Uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk that about that again. That nigga's crazy. He, he, that's sick. That's bad. He he might need therapy. No cap. But. <laughs> Can't believe you told niggas that. I don't. Re- I'm like, yo, what? He, that's something I would take to the grave. I ain't going to lie. Oh, God. I would take that to the grave. That's On nuts. Oh, God. I was like, yo, that's nigga's crazy. But let me see what other shit I got to talk about. 
Um, you want to rate the forgotten TV shows that I had? Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me let me let me let me see what got what, what she got. All right, so so people, I got a couple shows that we haven't heard from or watched in years. So we're just gonna rate them from one to ten. You know what I'm saying? So a little, a little, uh, you know, light, lighten up the mood. I ain't gonna. Yeah, lie. no, we got to light up the mood after niggas, that shit. Niggas was talking about some crazy. Shit. Yeah, I might have to blurt <laughs> some of that shit out. I'm sorry, nah, don't get me definitely, people. bro. But so the first one is Pair of Kings. One what of the, the first. fuck? Pair of Kings was top tier. That was a top tier show that nobody talks about, and I get. I think that's like a nine. A nine. I'll give it a nine or a ten. I, I wouldn't. T- I wouldn't be mad if it was a ten, but I, I would be mad if it was a. Okay. I understand if you wouldn't give it a ten because after Mitchell Musso left, yes, yeah, that's what that's became, what I was about to say. It started getting ass. It started getting ass. Mm-hmm. Not gonna lie, I have no problem with Adam Hicks. I don't either. Adam Hicks was pretty good, and you know Zeke and Luther. Mm-hmm. Hey, lemonade mouth, you weren't crazy. Mm-hmm. My nigga in Paracrings, Mitchell Musso ask. was that guy. He was that guy, bro. So you couldn't. That was a big shoot of film, bro. Yeah, I'll give you. I'll huge. So I'll give you a nine. I'll give him. A I nine get a nine out of ten. Like at the end of the day, Paracrings, I literally waited to watch, and they had a storyline too, mm-hmm. which was great. Great storyline. Like so, so at the end of the day, like I was waiting to see what the fuck was going to happen in the new episode. Mm-hmm. Paracrings, got it, bro. Nine yeah. out of ten. All right, all right. How about LT Gray? LT Gray, top tier also. That's a great show. My nigga, top tier also. That's a great and, show. And I love the LT Gay. Uh, whoa, what? Whoa, LT Gay is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> you LT, know what I meant? LT Gay is you, crazy. You, 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 I love the... <laughs> <laughs> I love the LT Gray game. That, that was yeah, a game. yeah, yeah, they, yeah. Did yeah. you play that? I did, I did. Yeah, that, that shit was hard too. LT Gray, I'll give it an 8.5 out of 10. I, I like that. I'll take that score too. 8.5, 8.5. 8. 5. 5. I'll give it an 8.5. How about um, Tacking the Power of Juju? Damn. Did you like that show? I did. It was, okay. I just tolerated it. Like, it was, <laughs> it, like, it was just there. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's an easy it's an easily forgettable show. It is a very easy because it's like it's not like there wasn't too much story to it. He was just At out all, here just, just going around just and shit, doing shit. But like I used to play the video game, like the computer game of that shit. I used to play that game more. What was it? I, I, I think. I um, know. I remember you had to like cast spells on shit, and it he was he was a part of something. I can't remember. It was like a PS2 game. It was like that Nickelodeon game, like a brawl. Something like that. Not a brawl, but it's like, I forgot what it was called. It was like him, SpongeBob was in it, mm-hmm. Timmy Turner, but I remember, I don't know why he was in there with SpongeBob. That was mad random. Yeah, that is bad. That, that's, anyways, but. But I'll give that shit like a seven. Like a seven. Six. Six. Point five. Six point five. Okay, okay. Because, I don't know, it's, it's just too easily to forget. Like, yeah. I remember, honestly, the most I remember about it, you know, you know, when you, when you, when you hear shows and shit, like old shows. Yeah. That you remember mm-hmm. you could easily like think of like a scene that you remember yeah i really can't i think i like, can't remember one scene that i watched from there no. the only thing that i remember was like the 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 uh theme song of it yeah like I tech think. tech <laughs> tech and the power of juju that's the only thing i remember <laughs> of that shit <laughs> that's two. true that's true i'll give you that one uh that's a that's a good score Words. how about robin big on mtv you ever watch that show Oh, Robin Big. Yeah. RP, RP. RP Big, big bro. Man, RP big, big Black. Yeah. <laughs> that nigga sound crazy. Big Black what? <laughs> That's his name, bro. Nigga, yeah. That, that nigga. show is a 10 out of 10, bro. Not gonna lie. That show is a 10 out of you 10. Know, you know why it's a 10 out of 10? Because everyone at that age wanted to be Rob. I swear to God. That was my, he was my hero, bro. He was like, my hero at that age. You couldn't you didn't even need to pick up a skateboard you didn't you just wanted to, to do what he did you like just he, wanted to i do. forgot he was a skater bro yeah me too like me he too. was just he was just oh my, whatever he wanted you know was cra- like i'm like yo what did this nigga do to have like this nice ass life and fantasy and shit like that like a nice i'm like bro this nigga's I'm, i look up this nigga's skating that's what i'm saying i never I'm even like, seen oh, this any- nigga's nice at skating I never even seen like videos of him at all. Like, and, remember, I, and I watched it. I'm not gonna lie, bro. Like remember in sixth grade when we had to write a letter to our heroes? You did Rob. I did do Rob. That's hard. I did him, bro. He didn't get. He didn't send shit back though. Of course not. Fuck this nigga. This is Miss this this Fernandez's fault, bro. Miss Fernandez dumb ass probably didn't even put the fucking stamp on that shit. Miss <laughs> Fernandez, bro, your ass fucking <laughs> tried to make it seem like we were sending you. We were sending that shit to 
fucking a prisoner or some shit. But <laughs> <laughs> like, 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 you know, Wait, what, who'd you say your shit to? I don't fucking know. How you do you remember, remember that shit? That shit had a big impact. <laughs> <laughs> like, nigga said, damn, that nigga didn't send nothing back. Because they was talking about, because nigga said shit to Eli Man and they sent like a signed jersey. I said, a signed jersey? Oh, uh, what? I thought that nigga, yo, I swear to God, I thought that nigga was going to bring me to the fantasy factory. <laughs> that sounds crazy. Yo, I'm not going to lie, bro. Nah, I don't remember who the fuck I sent that shit to. <laughs> I don't. Like, we still gotta go to the fucking Kwame to dig that shit. You keep telling me that shit. You still haven't done Bro, that. Bro, I'm bringing the shovel. You bringing the shovel? Yeah. <laughs> Dude, tell me when. All right, we're gonna do it in the springtime, bro. I'm down. I right, bet. Tell me when. But, um, Rob Deerdeck? Yeah. 10. At, 10. Rob I'll, I'll give it 9.5, 10. Whatever. I gotta give it a 10, bro. It doesn't matter. Silent Library. Silent Library was top tier. Very top tier, bro. Oh my gosh, it's such a great show, <sighs> and it's crazy because I love seeing. I, I still like seeing YouTube clips videos, of it? not even YouTube clips. Like people will do. Um, oh, like they they'll remake their, it. They remake, yeah. yeah you know yeah. how um, A M P. Yeah, shout yeah. out A M P. They 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 made their Silent Library. Silent Library was top tier. That was. A I good remember. Show. I remember. Uh, like they had celebrities in mm-hmm. that bitch too. I think Justin Bieber was in that bitch one time. He was in that bitch. Um, I'm not gonna lie. I'll give it, shit, that's like a nine too, bro. I'll give it a nine. There's room for improvement because it's there like very is, repetitive. Yeah, it is. It's the same shit all so the it's time. Like, but it's very good for the same shit. Yeah, it is. You know what it, I'm it, is it is. And and not only that too, if it was, you you knew, what like, gonna, you not, not that you knew what was going to happen, but the people in the background, you knew that they were in it. Mm-hmm. You know, there was like some fake actors, you know, yeah, trying yeah, to make yeah. it seem, like if it was, what if it was like a, like a, know, random, like a like random like a random library, like a, like a Impractical Jokers type yes, of shit. Yes, bro, lit. that'd be lit. That'd be lit. That'd be lit. That'd that'd be lit. Be lit. Oh, they Impractical sh- Jokers is like top tier too. That bro. is, bro. Like because it's actually real life people. Mm-hmm. Them niggas used to go to Jersey Gardens. Oh, really? Yeah, it used to be a Jersey. Like the first, if you look at the first couple episodes, they was in Jersey Gardens. Oh, I didn't know that. Like the, oh, they're I, from Jersey. No, they're from Staten Island. Oh, okay. but Staten they're Island's right like right there. Yeah, they're right there to like um Elizabeth. Yeah, that's tough. But and the last one is my gym partner's a monkey. What the fuck? My new partner monkey is top tier too, bro. Oh, I thought you were gonna say that shit was mid. You gotta be scared. I'm like, what Nigga. the fuck? That was a great show. I played the computer game oh, probably yeah. like every, ten, like every like every single time. Bro. I play that shit every day. Every single time. I think I like wait, I beat, wait, what level did you get to? You beat it? Nigga, I beat it like mad time. Damn, I'm fucking ass. You are ass. No, I think my I think my Wi Fi connection would just go ass. Oh, for real? <laughs> like I would like get stuck at a level. Bro, that game and and it was just great. It was a great game. I'm not gonna lie. Like I played it so many times. Yeah. Like content continuously. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, shit, shit. I'm giving it a nine out of ten. Nah, eight point five. Eight point five, right? It's not the best. It's not it's one of the best, but it's up there. Yeah. It's like it's like A tier, not S tier. Because I don't remember how it ended. I don't either. I just remember the the yeah. alien episodes. Remember when? Remember when there was like alien invasion all over Cartoon Network, and there was like a. Every show like Camp Lazo had that little alien shit. Remember, there's a video game. I remember game. Camp Lazo had that alien shit. Like every like every when they played the volleyball. Yeah. yeah. The, uh, oh, dodgeball, dodgeball, dodgeball. Yeah. Oh, you remember that shit? Nigga, I nah, that's that. hard, bro. That was fun times. That shit was nostalgia. lit. <laughs> that shit was teams, lit. Good times. The bro. volleyball shit. I mean, the dodgeball was lit. But I, I don't remember the gym. My gym part. Oh, I I like remember it very vividly. I can't remember though. I don't know. The one episode I remember is when. When that freaking giraffe girl finally got like a, like a date with the nigga. Yeah, that's the one I remember. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was like yeah, a yeah. dance or some shit. Yeah, yeah. Nah, nah. I remember that too. I remember that. So too. like that was really the only one I probably remember. Yeah, I remember that too. But yeah, those 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 shows are, are top tier except for Tech. But yeah, um, Tech is like eh, it's like mid. It's like not mid, but it's like higher. It's like yeah, like I I just tolerate it. Like I wouldn't mind it. I wouldn't change the channel. I just said fuck it. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but you got anything else you want to talk about, bro? Nah. All right. Thank you again, bro, for pulling up for another episode, bro. Another episode. No episode regulars, 70, Most man. hated member. Most hated, most loved. But y'all know, you know, so you know, y'all love the guys, bro. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> I don't do nothing to y'all niggas. <laughs> Just be chilling. Just cause you're Fritz, bro. Just cause I'm me. That's, that's real shit, though. That's, that's tough. That's tough. That's crazy, though. <laughs> <laughs> just because I'm alive. That's tough. But, but it's all right, though. That's cool. Hey, bro. I need you to find your New Year's resolution, bro. Get your ass. You could just man. say it's just to read. <laughs> nigga said. Nigga said it's just to read. <laughs> <laughs> nigga can't read. I don't. I don't read, but <laughs> but I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. Okay. My New Year's resolution for theirs, man, is to read more. 
That's good, you better bro. Better buy me some books. That's good, bro. You know what I'm saying? Better <laughs> read me some books, you know what I'm saying? Better expand my vocabulary, you know what I'm saying? All right, give me a word. Give me a word. Just a random word. Vernacular. I think that might be right. <laughs> <laughs> but follow our socials down below. If you're new to the channel, subscribe That's to all that stuff. Um, yeah, follow our socials. Follow us on TikTok. Follow us on Instagram. All that stuff. Freaking, we hit 1,000 followers on Instagram. Oh, oh, shit. 1K on Instagram, 240,000, 241,000 on TikTok, 3,000 3, subs, 3,100 uh, 3, on, on YouTube. So if you're new to the channel, welcome, and I hope you enjoy. What, what's the word that, what's the keyword they need to put down in the comments if they watch the whole thing? Because this is a long pod. Oh, dude. shit, yeah. If you watch the whole thing, put FBM. Yes, sir, the mob, bro. And like put I said, FBM. happy New Year's to all y'all. Hope y'all resolution goes well, bro. And yeah, uh, did I say we different? They regular, no regulars, man. Gangster.